Apologies for the technical difficulties. We My mouse another. is being weird. It's not the only thing being weird from what I heard when I entered this chat. Oh dear. Shh. Everything, you mean? Everything is weird. Everything is awful. Everything is awesome. <laughs> God, I had that song stuck in my head for two days after I watched that movie, and I didn't regret it at all. Anyway, the good news is it's unlikely saw that to blue movie. screen. I'm, it's very unlikely to blue screen now, because okay. nothing else is on, apart from Skype, Mumble, one instance of Chrome, and the streaming program. So if it blue screens now, um, my computer is fine. Okay, so, where were we? You had just finished speaking with Dad, you made your knowledge local check, and I was telling you about Brother Swarm. Okay, so Brother Swarm was a child killer who had come to Hergstag some 50 years ago, I so, or so, something like that. Yeah, about that, about 50 years ago. Um, he had come and he was a child killer. He had been uh, chased, he had been caught by uh, vigilantes, horribly executed by being covered in honey and stung to death by hornets. He then returned as a wraith. And then he wandered, wandered the Dipplemere Swamp, returned to Hergstag, took up residence in this cave, Things started to happen. Ghosts started to appear. And based on what you've uh, you've figured out so far, it's pretty clear that the people who were killed were killed by this wraith. Can you give us a copy paste of that information? No. Okay. Well, um... it's simple as he he was a child killer. He mm -hmm. showed up. He did. And I can't give you a copy paste because I was paraphrasing. Fair enough. Um. I, I, I jotted the important bits down, so whatever. As long as Bill says that he tells us about this, then it's fine. I, 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 I am attempting to do so, yes. Um, it is what bards do. They share stories. Yep. Hey. yep. Wait, wait, the question is, is he going to flavor text it for us, or is it just going to be he tells us generically? Because I want to see what he can come up with to make it interesting. Let's just move on. For us, Bill? <laughs> yeah, make a song. About he it. plays a flute. He doesn't sing. Yeah, he could play a flute and then uh, and sing in between little ditties. Moving on. He could always fart a tune. <laughs> now you guys have to find your way out of Hergstad. Okay. We only Audi on six skateboards. Well, I mean. I know that we're vaguely southwest-ish. It's kind of it. Ah, we still have our horses with us. With us? Yeah. I'm still yeah. riding my pony. We still have our horses. We. <laughs> yeah, you all have horses. I have a pony. His name is Pony. Pony, pony. You guys pony. have to find your way out. Well, I'm I'm gonna Jaiworth and say, hey, uh, could you could you find the way back to the road for us? Hey, buddy old pal. Will we be able to look for our own tracks using a survival check and then Actually you can. Yeah. Oh dude, roll that. Please don't roll a one. Yeah, but once you get to the cornfield, it's gonna be fucking footprints everywhere because Mantius was lost as fuck. Tie and was lost for us. several mi minutes. Can we tie a rope Whoa. around each of us and just have someone lead the way? <laughs> Through a fucking cornfield? Yes. You just hold hands. Ioworth? Sean is dead. Is, is Ioworth... Yeah, yeah, oh, cool name. I, I, I forgot we weren't on Skype. Oh! oh Nat one, but he still succeeds. Yeah. Okay. How did he succeed if he won in that one? Because... Because that bonus, are. though. And yeah. because you're already w aware of the presence of the tracks. Yeah. No, yep. he, he has to very carefully and the ground's detail, pretty soft. He has to very carefully detail out the tracks again. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys make your out. way back um, to the cornfield. All right, this time we're gonna hold hands or wings. Hold hands. I so offer get lost. my hand. I say, hold me. Very enthusiastically grasp the I'm gonna hands grip of the people him from the, I'm gonna grip him by the beak and drag him <laughs> along in front of me. All right. Pick the nose up and hold her under my. Shoes. So who's leading the way? Iworth, please. I'm riding Iworth. my pony. Uh, 
You're all on horses, you know that? We, we, we all gonna roll survival now? Well, then if all on horses, how did Matthews get lost separately from Dilwood? Because he's a yeah, dumb really? shit. Did he just like push <laughs> Probably, the was the the dumb he Probably just... got off the horse and was like, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna look around a little, you stay here, and then got lost. <laughs> So what probably happened is that we right. got off the horses to lead them through the cornfield. We, we all have to yep. check now. In fact, you have to get off your horses to lead them through the cornfield. They won't walk through on their own. Yep. Well, that says something about this cornfield. Welcome is, to the cornfield, is, motherfucker. Is, 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 that it's extremely difficult terrain that takes a long time to walk through? Is, is yeah. corn in season or no? Huh? The corn is, the corn is overgrown. It's wild. It's oh, wild corn somewhere. at this point. Can Nobody's can lived just... here for like five years. Can we get? Oh, so we, so we can't take any food. Can we get some corn? Or uh, yeah, it was. It, yeah. It's it's about a year rather. Nobody's lived. Do you here. really want to go through the arduous process of collecting corn without tools? Did you snap it's, it off? You literally, you literally just snapped the top off. Sure, jack, but if you want to get, jack, jack, it's October. Jack. It's harvest season. Can we get? Oh, some okay. Corn? Let's just go through the cornfield. God damn it! Stop delaying. Nope. No, I want to grab corn. Good, grab the corn. Grab, yeah. you can grab some corn. Yeah, we'll grab corn. He grips the corn. He strokes it up and down. We're good. <laughs> How much corn do you grab? Um, five years. The one's also there you go. That takes days. about. Uh, that takes a couple minutes. The one's just oh, five grab some. years. Okay. You guys are just taking. You guys just have corn. You can eat it for dinner, not waste a ration. Okay. Mostly yeah. have enough corn Look for dinner. First. You can eat corn raw. Oh. Yeah, you can eat it raw. You can also great. just boil it in a pot of water. Yeah, this, this corn, corn is raw, amazing. Yeah, you're lucky enough that the corn, despite being overgrown, is definitely edible. Cool. I'm just gonna snap off two Short pieces of corn. Yum. Two description. Delicious corn. corn. No, I no. What you need to have for the flavor text? If you make some pie, it's amazing. Then. It's amazing. It's what I thought. Rolling. That's it. Rolling initiative right now, you motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so we never heard from Cool Name again. Um, okay, who here has watched uh, watched Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Yo, I have no. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Carl. I have no. I too am Carl. Why? We are Dr. all Weird War Carl. Carl. Dr. Weird. Remove his brain! Gentleman bald corn, I know what that's gonna be without even clicking it. Corn cuffs. <laughs> Let's move through the cornfield now. But, anyways, yeah, okay, I will worth roll survival. You're leading everyone, I assume. Okay, yep. Uh, let me open skills. In before Nat 1. A bunch of people aren't in the roll 20. Survival! Space isn't in the roll 20. Akari's not in the roll 20. Yeah, I am. Where the fuck? I rolled a yeah. two. You must have. Oh, hang on. Let me refresh. Well, we need I don't. Five. You? No, no, we're not missing. <laughs> one, two, three, four. There should be so eight. Now not you're in. in. Now you're in. Yeah, Akari, you're not in. I'm in. You might want to refresh. I'm in. I'm seeing everyone post and everything. Refresh, nerd. Refresh. Uh, I literally saw the survival check and everything. Okay, I always just rolled survival. Yeah, that's good enough. Hello, Akari. Okay, you guys make it through. closely this time. I rolled a two. Did we make it through? Hello? Yeah, he said that we made yeah. it through. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I'm just in the middle of nowhere and I'm black. Oh, there we go. Same. Wow, wow you're racist. racist. Hey, I'm not. I don't have anything against Kieran or anyone. Anyway. Uh, Do you have anything against Kieran? I think it's fair to say that we know which way we came from, which would be the right, of uh, the, the right path. Yeah, and you just continuously follow the path. You guys make it out of there. It takes you about fifteen minutes to walk all the way out. Um, you have a distinct sensation that there is no longer any ghosts haunting this town. Wow, I'm stunned. Well, yeah, like we killed the big wraith, and, and that means the small ones disappear. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody give me knowledge religion. Uh, I can. Do I it. got this. Uh, let Akari do it. Frank, do it. I'm letting do Akari it. do it first, and then if she fails, I'll roll it. Give me like five seconds. 
And then the bard could roll it, I guess. Does she know shit? No. Rip. I know shit. You don't know shit. <laughs> you know nothing. Let's let the bard be the fucking guy who gets it. Because he can roll any knowledge. Bard, you better do this. Yeah, yeah so Dem knows that when a wraith... When a wraith dies and it has wraith spawn... The wraith spawn go on to become full wraiths, but they lose their connection to their original, uh, their original, the person they were originally attached to. They so become separate to beings. Anymore, no longer tied scene. to this tie-in. So we just spawned a bunch more wraiths. Yep. Not yes, a bunch, spawned a bunch of wraiths that aren't all concentrated on the same spot. They'll be dealt with. By They'll be dealt with eventually. Not our job. <laughs> it's not like we could do it anyway. We don't have the equipment. So you guys so killed two wraiths. Where'd my phone killed go? Killed full wraith, and we killed two wraith spawn. Actually, no, we killed three. Because there were the two that showed up. Oh yeah, uh, there was Karnes. So we, so we killed one three full and full wraith. But we got experience for everything except for the full wraith. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, a common rider appears. Some <laughs> weird common rider appears. What now? Oh, uh, Dayton's character is literally just common rider. Um, oh, so everyone gains eight hundred experience. Yay, Yay! Level up. I want some victory music for that. Oh yeah, we didn't get any victory music. Wait, eight hundred? Was it eight hundred? Everyone except Dayton levels up because he doesn't gain any experience for that. Um, yeah. where's the XP? It's in core. Did you say we were just gonna level him up because he trained with monks or some shit? Probably, yeah. I think I may have ex missed out, missed out on some experience. You get eight hundred. That's all you need. So now our experience total is at no, um, I don't level. Oh, it's around nine thousand seven hundred ish. How how short are you of a level up, Spockland? Well, let's see, so that's... Uh, so we're gonna do leveling up now, then. No. no. Later, but set your next level. You do it at the end of the session. I mean, look, I think I might have, uh, let me get in our... Yeah, you missed out on a lot. You we're didn't just gonna add it, put you... Yeah, you need to be adding your experience. I know, because I, I, it's just... I, no. We're just gonna put you at 9,000 right now. Yeah, it's just because I still... I used the PDF PF while right, guys, don't use the PDF. 15,000, uh, so put that right, in... We all, we all hit 9,000 agreements? I'm back. Yes, we've all hit 9,000 You mean we're over 9,000? Yeah. Yep. No, we're not over 9,000, yeah. we're at 9,000. Please, no. I'm, I'm over 9,000. a terrible time. I'm over 9,000. 9, How much experience did we get? 800. 800. What's the standard say about his power level? Was, uh, it's a hick, apparently, because that that's the accent you're giving us. Alright, 800 experience? Yes. Yes. And your next level should be set to 15. 800? Not not seven hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred. Yes. And then everybody got stabbed, <laughs> especially Sorry, what are you drawing? <laughs> I'm drawing Happy Dolan. Um, she looks like a grumpy pants. But that would mean you're not drawing anything I at all. A grumpy pants frog. <laughs> now, Metsy isn't a grumpy pants. Right, so, what's the experience for the next level? It, leave it. We'll deal with it later. Better not to get hung up. Fifteen thousand. The, ne the next level is fifteen thousand. I can't help but notice that I'm unable to actually draw properly to finish her off to give her boots. So um, there well, she is, boots. in all her badly drawn glory. Booties. Little booties. Little booties. Wee booties. Let's see how. It, let's. I, I want to see something. Okay, so her waist is uh, 43 feet long. <laughs> her feet are uh, size 9,000s. Aww. God, what a fatty, am I right? Am I right? Uh, she's, uh, a, uh, she's 100 pounds of pure muscle. Okay, so... Anyways... Just nothing you guys make... Experience two well. four. No, I Dayton does not gain experience. Okay. Your experience will probably just be set to something later. Because you weren't even there. Oh, yeah. Jesus, that was a yeah, sneeze and a half. Enough. I was gonna draw a person, but I gave up on it now. 
All right, so you still have you you all you leave you know the place. fifteen minutes. It takes you about fifteen minutes. We only it took it. us literally <laughs> six. What the hell? Six oh, seconds. Right, I forgot about that. We'll, we'll see um, if I notice me. It's loading. Oh, it has to load the thing. <laughs> oh. oh. Senpai Jeez, noticed so yeah, it. You guys are in Hervstug. Senpai you still have to go to the sanctuary and Morast. Oh, oh, I'm lagging. It's locking up. Help. Let's hit more ass. <laughs> yeah, let's hit more ass than the sanctuary. More like more ass. Alright, and keep in mind these rivers you have bridges. Oh, yeah. More ass. Wait, wait, wait. More ass? That's not a ghost town, right? No, that is a fully populated town. It's a small Thank village. Right. To find a healer. More ass is a town. Let's hope there's a healer there that can. So do I! Okay. Duck. So it's about. It's like 11.30 on, as you guys head out. And I'm just gonna drop in a, a random token and a little throw token Burb up here so I can easily can track. Oh, are we gonna get random encounters? No, I'm just trying to get the uh, distance. I'm going to shoot some bandits. He faces a bandit. You can shoot bandits if you want. We could spend time looking for bandits, you know, and with the limited amount like of time that we time have. Limit. Yeah, it's not like it's not like we have to accomplish this in any amount of time. So it's, it's like eighteen point seven miles. You guys are currently moving at a speed of base speed of uh, forty because of the pony. No, the pony's the slowest one. That's why base uh, speed yeah, forty. Pony. That's what you get My for pony, pony is the prettiest. Don't judge. We're on a time limit here. <laughs> I can't fit on a horse. I'm too short. You can. You can. You can. If you're but... determined. No, it's no. children can sit on horses, no problem. It's just whether they can ride them alone. I can't, and I'm an independent young woman. Except I'm 60 here, so technically I'm an adult. And um, man. who don't need no man. man? Here you go, I drew your pony. So you guys are pushing yourself. I need you all to make a fortitude save. What? Okay. Yeah, no sleep, son. No oh. sleep till Brooklyn. Ah, oh, fuck! Everything is locked up. So you guys can do four miles oh, in an oh, hour. Uh, I rolled a seventeen, but since I got a minus two to my con, what does that mean? Um, you take a minus oh, one. Oh, save for everyone. I am oh, up like a light. Well, you you might bad. be fatigued, Cinch. I mean, considering he's a bird and it's night time, he should just fall asleep anyway. Well, I mean, if she's fatigued, I'm just gonna touch her inappropriately, and it will be good. Uh, you need to touch the you touch me appropriately for once? Yeah, it takes you guys four, about five hours to get over there. I ain't done my save. Um, so, yeah, I'm just figuring out the length of time, so it'll be about 4 a.m. by the time you guys reach Morast. Oh, fuck, that's early in the morning. Nobody's up. You could still attempt. It's a small town. People tend to be okay about getting up early. Um, let me check. There was specific rules for this travel. They get up, they get up early. They take a swig of their whiskey. They go piss out in the cornfields. That fortitude save! Wow. I am wide awake! <laughs> You're well rested. Mattias is drinking his coffee for the day. Right, Mattias is so awake, he literally has caffeine for blood. <laughs> Pure caffeine in the bloodstream. Here we go. Okay, so who beat a 15? Yo. <laughs> Everybody. Everyone except Ioworth and Zinche. Matthias and Burb. has got a natural 20. He's got to get some. So the fall, those of you are uh, fatigued and take a minus one check on all... Yeah, you take a minus one penalty on all checks. Touched a lot of them inappropriately and then have one lay on hands remaining. You only take the minus one on checks. It doesn't affect attack rolls, but you are fatigued, so that I'm, fatigue I'm affects that. you as well. Right now, fixing it. Let me roll three land hands. There, I now have one left. Okay, so you used a r uses of lay on hands to uh, undo fatigue. Yeah. For the record, and nobody heals naturally because none of you rested, and nobody regains their spells per day. There, yeah, there. all of you are good. Yeah, nobody is fatigued now. Play the Monty Python music since we're at the world map. 
Please, we're leaving oh. right now. We're going- we're in Morass right now. Oh. Yeah, you're in Morass now. Turn on music when we go back to this map. Nay, nay, nay. Nyum, nay. Nyum, nay. The only Monty Python music I need is the intermission music. Hey, guys, we're in Morass. What happens? What is our- what is the scene before us? Okay. Where was it? Safety cat. It's safe. It's safe. That's literally uh, Matthias's cat, though. It's his safety cat. When he's grumpy or upset, he goes and he pets his cat. So then oh, actually, that's my cat too. As a free his action, can Dilwyn pet her hawk? What? So can I get a knowledge local chest? Chest this. check. This is a small little swamp village. We're gonna fall into Let the uh, habit because he has the best chest. Um, Morast is a miserable collection of twenty or so wattle and daub hovels built on stilts above the swamp and connected by soggy wooden boardwalks. Ugh. Good God, that's two twenties in a row, son. Okay, so you know the village is they villagers they make their living here fishing and occasionally bringing in blood caiman, a variety of crocodilian with a red scaled head that is native native to the north of this area to eat or sell. Um, local rumor claims that somewhere in their somewhat inbred ancestry, they mingled with the strange swamp creatures, tainting their blood and marking them with queer countenances. No one knows how or why, but the people of Morast have legendary constitutions. Sickness is rare among the swampers, and the villagers live long, healthy lives. And while admired for this fact, they are also shunned for their strange appearance. However, the swampers' very hardiness and isolation makes them interesting. Uh, in is that was that an interesting for us or an interesting because you noticed something? Because I noticed something. Oh, yeah, that's that's supposed to say remind me again what exactly happened. Literally, in this fish town? people from Cthulhu. They're all going to die. What what happened in this town? Yeah, what happened? Uh, oh, okay, right. Great you robbery. guys, um, first robbery. one, yeah, grave robbery, accused of grave robbery, and I think murder, so let me check. No, just grave robbery. The first crime the beast is charged with is the killing of ten people in Morast, a small oh, really? hamlet, as well as grave robbery. So killing and grave robbery. Yep. Okay. Well, we solved Berg, the Hergstag. I, mean, I called it Bergstag for some reason. <laughs> because it's really a giant bird. No, right, I made a joke, because the, 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 them bergs. And, uh, you know that, uh... That... The village elder, Lazne, was called as a star... The star witness for the trial. Ah, uh, okay. And, uh, today is, in fact, the day where Morast will be, uh brought up in the trial, so like the cr specific crime of Morass, the uh, the verdict will be passed today. So you're actually lucky you're here early, because the witness has not left for Lepidstad yet. We gotta go stop that, son. Well, it's early in the morning. Uh... We're gonna go find him anyways. You've already been given, you were given directions by the uh, defense lawyer to his home. Right. Well, let's, uh, I let's go, go there. I go on his door. All right, so he opens the door and he says, What do you want? He's a grizzled middle-aged man with dirty gray hair and skin the color of swamp mud. He's chewing on a foul-smelling something. And it uh, punctuates... He punctuates most of his sentences by spitting juice onto the ground. As though he's chewing tobacco. But it doesn't smell like tobacco. Oh, it's surrogate tobacco. He's like, Ah! Some of you f city folk and furriners. Uh, knowledge nature. Furriners? Furriners. Oh, we're furriners! Alright, I'm rolling. Furry nerds, more like. You know it's a local swamp weed. Ew. Gross. Uh, in any case, unless Isco's gonna take point on this, uh... What did you witness? Why should I tell you? Oh, time to whip we're out working diplomacy. on the case? <sighs> diplomacy? That would be you, Iska. I've got a plus 11 to diplomacy, and we've got the gnome doing this. What is that, lives? 
It's whoever talks first, son. Wrong, whether or not it's optimal, so. Huh. He just grunts at you. Uh. Officer He seems unfriendly. Really? I haven't noticed. <laughs> he was just well, uh, uh, can, I can I get a word in here? Can I get a word in? If that's okay with you. Sure. All right, well, uh, Matthias is going to uh, clear his throat and say, uh, uh, we're here on uh, at the request of the court to uh, uh, look into some of the things that you've, uh, that you've said, and uh, we just need a... What's the word? We just need to know basically what you know. Roll diplomacy. Nice. Um... So he grunts and he's like, the beast first, he only came and he took one villager at first. Lone villagers, just one at a time, who were out at night. But he get bolder and he started attacking houses. (laughs) (laughs) And it only ended when I and some of the villagers set a trap for him. We we was lying in wait for the beast. Attacked just after nightfall. We was armed with torches, and we attacked a creature. He's this huge brute, about seven feet tall. And he ran in the water. And we gave chase in the boats, and we chased him to the boneyard. <laughs> and he was attacked by one of them blood cannons. <laughs> Yelled all kinds of oaths and curses when, uh, as the, <laughs> the what even the worst person? whore in Leopard Stout would blush at what he said when the gator attacked it. And made a big wound on his shoulder. That's probably gonna scar. Now, even though his blood, though, tainted our boneyard, so we had to move it somewhere else. Or, you know. Would we have seen the scarring on the on the beast earlier? Uh, I mean, he was covered in scars, so... He was stitched together, but you can look at him later. Yeah, he was stitched together, but, like, a bite mark is distinct from stitching. Bite marks added Roll to, a wisdom added check. Inventory. Roll a wisdom check. check. I won't do that. Matthias isn't gonna do this. He can't. He's not wise. Uh, let me check. I'll do a wisdom check, I think. Zinch has got it, though, I think. Does he? If somehow he doesn't have it, I'll roll it. <laughs> and this is to recall if we saw any bite marks on the guy's shoulder, right? No, it's to recall yeah. what the color of his dick was. Thank you, Frog. Okay, yeah, you remember you didn't you didn't see any scarring. All right. Are you gonna not up? not I'm nothing not that resembles this guy, but uh, <laughs> you know, on. don't piss him off, please. I'm not going to. <laughs> if you want, you guys are investigating. It was the beast, but I mean, if you want to see for yourself. Where it happened, I can take you to the boneyard. Oh, thank you. That would be actually very helpful. Okay. So, he takes you to the boneyard. Uh, He takes you first, of course, over to the river. He uh, gets you to hop into his little boat. I'm just gonna say it's big enough for all of you. (laughs) Can you fit eight people in your personal boat? Uh, no, he uh, actually rather he has to get you guys into uh, more than one boat because they can only hold two people. <laughs> Just have people swimming alongside it. <laughs> no, thank you. It's In a much swamp fa- full it's of much, much, much faster. And okay. so you guys make your way over to the uh, the boneyard in the boats. And uh, it lies about a mile north of Morast on a low wooded isle. This tiny, miserable island rises from the swamp, a tangle of trees covering its dour, reed-choked surface. Hundreds of fetishes, 
uh, hang from trees, simply simple, roughly humanoid figures made of sticks and bound with twine. Larger fetishes are planted in the ground on various parts of the island, leaning drunkenly in the soft mud. A large nest built of sodden swampwood sits high in the boughs of a tree of tangled trees on the northwest side of the isle. Those fetishes need to lay off the booze. Yeah, that, that's all I had to say about that. Thank you. So, yeah. so what I'm happens? Thinking wrong for, that perception. for what? To investigate the air and see if anything stands out. Okay, so you guys, hang on, I need to give you guys tokens. Man, if, they, if those are all five foot squares, this is one miserable island. Yep. Jesus, it is five feet. Oh, and, uh, I forgot to mention, Zomaru joined you. Oh. He just found us as we were walking all the roads, and he was like, Sup, nerds, I was off being an anime, but now I'm back and badder than ever. No, we're just like, sup, and sup. that's it. Dilwyn, can I just say, Dilwyn side-eyes. you guys eyes, so long. Dilwyn side-eyes Zomo and frowns. She's very suspicious of him. Well, Matthew says also good. Sup. sup. In response. <laughs> just, yeah, we're good. Have I met this person? Nope. No. Nope. Oh, who's, who's, who's the new, who's the new face? Who are you? I'm me. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Eska, nice to meet you, me. I hold up my hand. Okay, yeah. The wind jumps up and says, Zomaru has been trampled with us. Zomaru takes her hand and then it bursts into flames. Spaghetti, yeah, flames. spaghetti currently flowing out of uh, Zomaru, out of fucking Zomaru's pockets. It flows no. out the he helmet her. exposing his face. You hear, you hear slithering and gurgles coming from the ocean. Oh, I just realized, um, of course, we, uh, forgot that, uh, Iska is nearly dying. Yes, yes, she's pretty fucked up. She has Drain, which can only be healed by Restoration. There was no, I'm just gonna say there was no healer in Morass, though. It's a tiny little village, and they rely on their own, um, their own very hardy constitution. So you have the option of using some of your Cure Light Wounds uses. I'm gonna go ahead and just do, like, at least three of those. Let me just get my spell up. I'm gonna be using uh, one of them, You can- she, she sure, currently has a cap of 11 HP. Um, you can just take the average twice and it'll max her out. Okay, I'll do that then. Do you or you can roll once and hope you get enough. Roll, 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 roll! One of the two. Oh, that's enough. Oh, yeah, that's enough. So you only use one charge. Eight. It would be plus nine, though, because it's Cure Light Wounds Wand. But even so, that's going to be enough. So, yeah, it's enough. Hey. Anyway, Dylan did a perception so She's full check HP. To you only have one use of Lay on Hands left. Uh, from... she. Oh, Lay on Hands, right? Yeah, I'm not using it. I'm saving it. I just used yeah. it to... for that mercy. In any case. Let's investigate the bones. Dylan. Let's split up and look for clues, gang. That's Wait, it. Hang That's on. It. You're out. Don't Hold split on. the party. Can, can I just bones. say? Can I just say? Dylan walks over to Iowa and slaps him in the face. What? Now, why don't I already have my percentile? They so. Why do you slap him? He knows why. <laughs> <laughs> what? I warned the meta, him. The meta, the meta, the meta. Meta, please no, no meta game. Wow, that's inappropriate. That uh, intensifies. I think I know what he did. What you I love that my icon is just a little bit smaller than everyone else's. Look at that. It's great, because I'm fucking five feet tall. You know, um, Maddie is sometimes. Dude, has I'm a hard two foot eleven. Per performing. You should be a tiny icon. <laughs> so tiny, you can't click on it. Heckin'. Mattius is a big Actually, Hatch, Give me one sec. Oh, Hatchy is preparing things. Here we go. Prepare. DM opens the bestiary. Oh no, I already have all the monsters uh, set up in the roll 20. What? I just needed my percentile dice. Yeah, he can get it on the uh, GM layer, which 
Oh boy! Oh what? Suddenly, as soon as you step onto the island, uh, L Lazny bites off a curse as a uh, a manticore flies down from the treetops. Manticore? Jesus, fuck, what? Are but, you but why? No. Oh, Jesus Christ! What? Roll initiative. Do not get eaten. Why is this happening? Motherfucker. I'm, I'm sad because... Lazny like... shouts, this wasn't here before! I'm gonna what kind of knowledge it. check Hello. do we have to roll to see what it is? Leia just heads oh. up, the stream is live right now, so you will be taking listen, on the stream. Listen. If you want to watch, I can give you the link. Hatter? Huh? Uh, that's something you do during your your turn. You don't just I do just it. I just want to know. Yeah, what? it's knowledge arcana, so oh, okay, you wouldn't be you're able you're to. Asking. If you could roll it. Give me a sec, I have to pee. If I would be able to roll it. I'm not going to roll okay. it. Okay. But yeah, Leia, um, nope. we are live on the stream right now, so if you want to watch, there's the link. Um, e. you right? I'll wait. Please, 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 please let bird. Please. Is the bird alive? I'll wait. Lee, you're on stream. Lee, you're on stream. Are you okay? Um, Leia, just so you know, you are on the stream right now. But yeah. You're on the stream. Okay. Yeah, but are you okay? You sound kind of drained. Can, am I allowed to five foot step up the tree? No, that's a climb check, you doof. There is no Step need. Step up the tree. Allow me. Flexes muscles. But yeah, so it would be knowledge arcana to determine what it is. I I think I can do that. Okay, so we've already taken care of the kids. I can get rid of that. No. Okay, I'll, I'll, no. I'll, I'll, I'll my turn. Let me run That and that. Whoops, I forgot to click my icon again. Ha, <laughs> rip. Actually, he didn't have turn order up, so none of it actually went in. Okay. No, it did. Oh. Not wow, you mistake. guys are lazy. I forgot. It was a legitimate mistake. Yeah, Zao Maru is on the ball. I rolled so a damn three. Yeah, but you got a really high initiative, nerd. Yeah. Like crazy high. <laughs> Matthew is on the ball today. Please don't oh, ban me, Jesus Christ, Sean. 21? Sean, don't God ban damn. me. damn. What? Sean, don't ban me. Oh, he got a really him. high roll. He's only got a bonus of plus four. He rolled a 18. Motherfuck. This just in. Sean is a big gay baby. Oh, ban disconnected. Ban, cool name. Ban, cool name right now. If you ban me, I'll ban you. Love you over. No, oh, don't God. fight. Love each other. Oh, you cannot ban the broadcaster. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. No, you're a terrible lover. But if you run, the rifle cover. Rules of nature. Rules of nature. Rules of nature. Your initiative bonus is five, right? Anna? Me? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. And they run when the sun comes up with their lives on the lot. So it's currently in the air, right? Or is it on the ground? It landed. I. Alright, it's the Manticore's turn. Fucking oh shit, Lost Odyssey? Yep. Oh god, Burb is at the front lines. Here we go. Where's the Manticore? Jeez! Why do you always place me, like, at the back? Fuck you, that's fine. Basically, like, that's this is the GM doing it. it. Jesus Christ, that's a large Manticore. Can we just have the, like, a snack set oh. instead? That was too big. I don't like it. Does- okay, so it flings a spike at Zinche. Um, does an 11 hit you? No. That doesn't hit anyone in our party, I think. Yeah, you're right, it doesn't even hit me. And I have no- Oh, it launches four. 
Oh. Or it doesn't even hit my flat foot AC though. It doesn't even hit my flat foot. Um. Does uh. Oh. Does a twenty hit her blood's AC? Oh. Dem. I think Dem's having technical difficulties. This is the night of technical difficulties. Dem, can you hear me? He's just DC and reconnecting. It's obvious that he has the wrong output device set. He's not. He's not in. He left. He DC'd. Oh, cool. He's disconnected. God damn it, Well, this is awesome. Uh, well, we'll hit Iowerth first, then the third one. Does a 20 hit Iowerth? Yes. Oh no. Alright. This is not me! You take 4 damage, or wait, 11 damage. Oh, fuck. Hot damn that jump. Jesus Ow. Christ, why? Why did you step Yeah, it launched the spike from its tail. Um, and, uh... Is it sticking out of me? It's the thorn. Uh, it's the thorn. It, 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 yeah. And the last one goes for the next nearest person, which is Dilwyn. Does a 15 hit you? I have no idea how to check that. It's the under defenses. You'll have armor class. There's armor class in your first one. Okay. It's your AC. AC 19. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nah, it missed. Okay, it missed. Whew. My flat-footed AC is Have 21. Have you never gotten hit all this time, Akari? Mm, I got hit once by a crap. It was. Right, I'll check Dem's AC. I, yeah, I she got, got fucked hard. Yeah, I yeah, got hit by hit. a crab and it would have killed me if I hadn't been vetoed, so... Okay, so at 20 definitely hit Burb Glub. It wasn't the crab, it was the skeletals. Oh yeah, no, it was the skeletals. The crabs, the crabs almost hit me. Oh no. Oh no. Eh. What? 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 That's a lot of damage. Oh. 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 It's Matthias' turn. Alright, well, I can't get close to it because of where I was put, so I can move 20 feet. Uh, let's you see. Can move Alex first. You can move uh, double distance. Like, you can do a double move if you want to. I mean, you could charge it! Bad idea. Dude, Shit. you could charge it. You could just go in a straight line and charge it. Charge rules. You literally you. Who other people? Oh yeah, you have. There's other people in your way. I don't have improved charge, so. Yeah. The move. You can't go over difficult terrain. You can't go around corners. You just have to. You you need a straight path to them. Okay. Well, I'm going to move here while drawing a dagger, and then I'm going to once I get there, I'm going to throw it at the uh, at the thing. Okay. Roll a ranged attack. That hits. Uh, 1d4. Yep, roll the damage. I don't think I get any bonuses to ranged attacks, so... Alright, what is the bonus? It's just 1d4. It's just the straight weapon damage, unless it's like a composite bow. Actually, you get your strength, because it's a thrown weapon. Oh, okay, then I get uh, 7 on that. Okay. There is a dagger in the Manticore. It doesn't look happy. Damn, you're back! Or is he? Can you hear us? My sound card and my video card crashed. I just oh shit! This. Okay, um, you got hit with spike and took thirteen damage, but and Iowerth took eleven damage from another spike. But I survived. Could you see that I can just they click. were spiked? With hmm? No, cool name. Um, anyway, does black one? Ma magical like how does it do you have to rest to regenerate or can does it regenerate you have to rest to regenerate it you have one spell left for the day you might want to save it and try something else hmm try looking at it angrily well you could try to intimidate it you can try to demoralize it by intimidating it you can try all right so is, how do how does that work again uh, i believe it's against their will save no, it's a DC based on their charisma. DC. Right, right. 
Plump, do you want to try to intimidate it? Oh, you're strong ass. It's my turn. It, it, okay. How many hit dice does it have? Because it's a fucking animal. Yeah, but it's also based on its number of hit dice as well. So it's gonna be tricky. <laughs> it's gonna be tricky, but possible. But possible. Um, because it is an intelligent creature. Okay, it is now Zalmaru's turn. Yeah. Alright. Um... Make sure to check sure what Chelsea check. currently have charges for. Yes, I, I was messing around with that beforehand. Okay. To... Yeah. Um... I think... Oh, when you move your token, you can press space as yeah, you're you moving it, this. and you can do, like... Like that. Sorry, let me try that again. You click and drag, and while, while dragging, tap space. Yeah, and you can tap space uh, while holding it over a space to uh, mark a waypoint. Ah. Uh, yeah. And it follows the path for everybody that isn't you. Yep, I think. I can do that. It's cool. It's useful once you get once you're actually using it. Hmm. For the record, things only update on drop, so while you're dragging it around, I can't see that you're dragging it around. Yeah, I figured. Uh, let me check something really quick. So much for that 10 second rule. Yeah, sorry. I yeah. Double check something real, real quick. From now on, make sure you're prepared in advance. I was preparing. It's just I was debating a bunch of different ways to handle this. Um, hitting it I'm really hard. I'm going to. I'm going to cast obscuring mist right here. Where I'm at. Where? Where you are? Yeah. Okay. What's that uh, aura for it? Just uh, hit roll the cast so it can see its effect. Because you could just, if it's on your tile, I believe you can create an aura that shows what it covers. Yeah, I just need to see. Just hit the dice next to the spell. On the, okay. on the thing. One second. Because this this shit's this shit's slow. I always just hit show all so that I can just scroll to where I need to be rather than rather than waiting for it to load. It's not a bad plan. It's. I suggested that to Akari because her shit locks up all the time. This. This music's really good. I really like it. up when I had memory leaks. There we go. All right. I'm scaring this. I'm scaring this. Uh, here it is. Oh, I forgot to mess with it in here. Oh well. Oh, what do you mean uh, the spell doesn't function underwater? Because it's a mist. I'm oh, okay, sure. so it's obscured all sight on his tile, and then beyond five feet, it's a uh, concealment. Mm -hmm. And it has, even though it says saving throw DC 14, the, the saving throw, there is no saving throw to make against it. Will negates. No. No? There is no saving throw to make against it, period. Okay. Um, and the spell resistance doesn't apply. So everything within fif five... Wait, what's the distance on it? Oh, a cloud oh, spreads from you in 20 feet. Okay, I'll spread. Yeah. I'll make an aura. You can make three separate auras for the uh, increments. So, like, beyond five feet, it's obscured. Uh, five no, five that's feet. just how, how far you can see. Five feet is how far you can see. I don't need to make different auras for that. Okay. You can legit just use an aura, though. I just stationary. made a 20 foot aura. It's stationary, so it's on. Awesome. You don't need to play with that. But yet, yeah, so it's. We can't see it, though. We can't see that aura. Oh, wait. Fair it's on, on Zelmaru. Let me do something. Yeah, it's stationary, so it's on the tile he just casted it on, not on him.
Oh, you made a little fog icon to put the aura around. And then that's on there. Oh, okay, so even I'm obscured now. Mm-hmm. Cool. Swear, you can't see us when we can't see it. Oops. So we're not that does, to some extent, give us the advantage, though. Because we know where it is. Mm-hmm. Well, he knows where he, we are, too. Oh, that means I can't intimidate the fuck. Sure, he can still throw it at us, but then the concealment rules apply with regards to range attacks, which forces him to move. There we go. That took a while. But yeah. Um. So yeah, it currently cannot see any of you at all. Except Matthias can sort of see you. I'm, I'm obscured. You're, yeah, you're 10 feet away. So it has a 50, or a 20%, no, 50% mischance on you. And they can't Let's use see. sight to see, to locate me. They ha if I had moved after that, he wouldn't be able to hit me at all. Yep. Speaking of which, uh, since that was a standard action, I'm going to move here. Okay. And I think that'll be it. And you're third level, so that lasts a whole three minutes. Uh, no, I did not, then. You just took damage. So the thing doesn't move with him, it just stays right there? Yeah. Yeah, you have it. your turn hasn't come up yet. It's after, All right, it's uh, Iska's turn. After the rest of I just has major armor on myself. Okay. Okie doke. You do that. You gain a plus four to AC, right? Yes, I'm now up to 16. I think it's the deflection. I was making sure. And, um, yeah, it's deflection. So it's, I, or, are you doing anything else? Uh, no, I think I'm good. You're just going to stand there? Okay. okay I'm I need to fix my AC. Way. Okay. Move yourself. Alright, it's Iworth's turn. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is I'll move into the trees right here. You currently... Actually, you can see it, but you have a 20% mischance. Because you're seeing it through the fog. Alright, I can draw my bow when moving, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we'll draw my bow, and uh, I'll fire one arrow at it. Okay. Oh, oh god, the zoom tool's breaking. Don't use it. <laughs> Don't use it. Yeah, I just figured that out. I just used the slider in the upper right. Alright, um, there we go. Oh. Oh, you hit. Now for that percentile dice. Yeah, roll 1d100. You have to roll above a 20. <laughs> yeah, you're good. So it takes six damage. And then does it does it look angry? It has an arrow sticking out of it. And a dagger. <laughs> and a dagger. I you could pull out the dagger angry. and then throw it back. <laughs> it is something it can do. Okay, it is Zinche's turn. All right, so I'm going to move right here while drawing my masterwork short bow, and I am also going to take a shot at it. Okay, you have a 50% mischance considering the amount of fog you're looking through. Oh, what if I moved here instead? No mischance. Yeah, because you're not firing through mists. You could... Yep. Actually, you're firing past a tree, so there's still a 20% yeah, mischance. You can fire like this. There's no tree in the way. No, there is a tree in the way. the base of the tree is down here. There's a tree in the way. Um. So, yeah, you can fire. Well, going in and melee attacking is a bad idea right now, so... Tell that to Matthias. You miss. New. Okay, it is Loresius' turn. <sighs> it can't oh, see you, so you can't intimidate yeah. it. I but you can roll magic missile, use that one last spell. Yeah, my lost magic missile. <laughs> you literally cast nothing but magic missile, and now you have zero, yep. level zero spells left forever. Right. Actually, now that I think about it... No, you don't have level 2 spells yet. You're only level 3. Okay, that does 6 damage. Magic Missile. And now you're out of Magic Missiles. He only ever cast Magic Missile. It's great. It's because it's my only good fucking attack spell. For long range. Yep. You gotta get up closer to use things like Burning Hands. It's Burb Glove's turn. Spire Courage and turn. Cool. Okay, so yeah. everyone has a plus one morale bonus on all attacks and damage. 
I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna move up. To, no, I'm gonna just heal. But I'm, I'm gonna move uh, here, and I'm going to heal Bub Blub for now. Okay. So I'm gonna use the wand. I'm going to use a charge of the wand. So that is. Are you taking the average, or are you gonna roll? I'm gonna roll. Can I roll the spell and, and then just minus what needs to be done from that? Just make it easier. Yeah, that's how it's usually done. I, yep. Then. You just subtract two from it. <laughs> you drew the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> okay, that's nine, nine HP. Nice. And that's gonna be in my turn, I suppose. <laughs> the RNG gods are favoring you now. Please don't me. say Jeez. that. Wait. Wait. Who did you heal? Healed she healed, Burp uh, Burp Club. You're at full HP, oh, Anna. I am. Sorry, I'm a little... Well, full it's HP, f your current max is 11, though. It's fucking sad. Yeah, you might not yeah. get too close. So, it can... It can... It knows where Matthias is. And it can see Zinch. It can just see Zinch. Just a little bit. Just so, a but instead... Oh, it does a little something else. Oh lord, this can't end well. Hold on to your butts, everyone. Don't worry, I can tank it. My butt is now gripped firmly. The clench. Where's its fly movement speed? Ah, oh, rip. My time has come. There it is. It's kind of a clumsy flyer, but it performs a flyby attack on Zinch. <laughs> Zinch, grab onto him quick! You can glide! Shut your face. It's his moment. It's Dayton's time. He can do this. It does the flyby attack, and it flies over there. Hang on, let me check the distance on that. Uh, it's like... They move incrementally like this, rather than... Uh, is this my AC, or is this thing like that's that. my CMD? It's an attack. Yeah, but it's a weird attack. It's just an attack. Yeah, it's just an attack. Okay. A flyby means it can attack while flying past you. Okay. So, it does its one standard action, it's not a full attack, it attacks at you with one claw. Um, does a 19 hit you? Um, I have AC 19, so if that's kind of just on the die... Yeah, it hits. Good. You take 14 damage. <laughs> Come on! It is Matthias' turn. Okay. I did not expect that, so I'm gonna need a second. I didn't know he could do flyby. He has wings. Yeah, but I didn't expect yeah. him to use a flyby. Nobody expects this position. I do. Okay, Nobody well, uh, let me position. measure the distance. I'll probably just go up and hit him. Is he in the air or is he on the ground? He's on the ground. He uh, He's a clumsy flyer, so he has to land at the end of his turns. Gonna go run at him and hit him with my sword. Okay. Attack. I'll draw my sword while I'm running and then hit him. Long sword. You get a plus one. Boy. Yeah, one. So I got a, 50, a 25 on that. Yeah, you hit. So you deal 11, 12 damage, yeah. Nuked. It's a manticore, not a chimera. They're different! It's important! Yeah, they're very different. They are, they are all of our ass. Oh, yeah. Chimeras are crazy, though. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know why. Uh, uh, Maddie, is you gonna roll that attack? No, he already did. That'll Wait, kill us. I, Whatever. 12 damage against it. It's Almar's turn. My time is coming. I guess jump. Oh shit! <gasps> oh, here he comes. Okay. 
You now have the ability to jump. I'm a jump can you roll it? Can you roll it so I can see? <laughs> what is going on anymore? Are you gonna jump on top? Are you gonna down thrust? Is it time for it's slam jam? Yeah, it's time for the slam jam. He's gonna jump on the manticore. You have to, he has to wait just a little bit, doesn't he? Unless he can down thrust while jumping. I don't. I'm not gonna do it. No. No. You can play it for yourself, Akari. Play it for the stream. Play yeah, you gain a ten. Tell you what it does. Because I know. You get a you get a plus ten bonus on uh, acrobatics checks made to jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which means basically he's going to succeed. Are you gonna jump on his back? Mm hmm. Well, you've already used your standard action, so you're probably gonna have to wait till next. That would be. Yeah, that was your standard action to cast it. But you can still move and. But it's a standard action. No, it's a move action to make a jump. Oh, it's a move action, so next turn he can jump and then down thrust. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cast jump, and... You might want to move somewhere more central. Then. Yeah. Because he might fly by. Fly by again. Like Could a five-foot step just behind Zinch? That's not a five-foot step. That is a... You could five-foot step right there. A five-foot step Yeah, that's, five what, that's exactly just what I was talking about, actually. Okay. okay. Um, it is Iska's turn. I'm gonna stay just... right where I am. <laughs> And just stand there? Do you have any I more spells? Uh, I have one spell left, except for cantrips. Ah, and you're not going to use it. Okay. Well, I'd like to not die, because in order to use it, I have to be able to see him. Oh. And I like where I am. Do you have magic missile? Because you don't need to see it. I don't care. I'm not wasting it. Okay. <laughs> Iowers' turn. Alright, so I'm going to... Uh, he I cannot see the... Uh, you could run up. No, you can't. Floor. You could run out of the fog, and then you'll be able to see it. Okay, yeah, I'll run out of the fog. Maybe. Yeah, but then it'll be you. Uh, he's going to be too busy with Mantius. Plus he decides to fly by. Busy then get... Considering precise shot, you're not affected by the trees in the way. Yeah, and if he tries to do a flyby, I believe that uh, after he's done moving through me, I get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to fire at him with the comp... Actually, I'd get two. I'd get two. No, I, if I had uh, combat reflexes, I could make two, but I don't. Yeah. Okay, you do not hit. <laughs> it is Zinche's turn. Well, since nobody in this goddamn party ever sets me up for flanks, I'm going to duck back in the fog like this, and then I'll end my turn. Oh, I'll, actually, while I'm moving there, I put away my bow and I draw my sword. Okay, so that takes two move actions. See, that, that's your turn anyways. Uh, Loressius' turn. I'm going to walk, uh, how far can I go? 30. I'm can... You can move 30 feet. Uh, I think you have see? a cantrip ray of frost. Does he really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does 1d4 damage. Where's my cantrips? Level 0 spells. If you in the party, nobody sets me up for flanks. Level well, zero... dude, he did a flyby, and I can only move 20 feet. I'm not. I'm not mobile. It's not my level. Zero. And this thing is powerful, so you don't want to get too close to it unless you can tank it. Yeah, it's and not... I have 30 health, so I'm good. It's not my. Uh... You don't have it. You didn't take it. Okay. Um. Uh, then you can't cast any spells. I don't think you use uh, them all. Yeah, I know, but uh. Use mage hand to pull the dagger out of him. It cannot currently see you. Can I move a bit forward then, Chugo? You there. want it to see you? Yeah, I want, I'm going to try and intimidate it. You can't. Oh, second move that. action, and you'd be. You can no longer do anything. You scored it for not doing. Nope, he can make it. Then. Twenty-five feet. Oh man. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do that, it. and I'm going to fucking intimidate him. All right, roll intimidate. Intimidate. Let's hope you get something real good. Oh, good. Like oh that's twelve. You fail. Raged it. You fucked it up. No, it ignores you. It doesn't do it. It ignores you. It is currently occupied. Um, Burb Club's turn. See, that ups your uh, skills. Yeah, Inspire Competence ups your skills by four. Or two, rather. I'm gonna move right Inspire there and then maintain, like and the that's it. I like the name of that spell. It's a, it's a performance. And, sorry, Dem? I want to move right there and then maintain, and that's it. 
Okay. Dylan's turn. There's basically nothing I can do at this point. I can go up to Zinche and use another try to kill Lightning Internet. Alright. Can we just get that back up to wall? Because I just adjusted the Oh. That. that ult. It bothers me. Okay, so he heals six. Gotta love Condrain, eh? The Manticore's turn. Why do I only heal six once you've all made? So it's pretty smart, and it knows it it doesn't want to take a risk by taking off. So it turns and does a full attack on Mantius. <laughs> Give it to me, baby! All right, baby. I can take it! Does a 17 hit you? Not a chance! Okay, so it, it bites and uh, it does not break through the plate on your arm. Um, does a 24 hit you? Yeah, that hits me. Its first claw swipes at you. It does 12 damage. Ah, I can take it! And the second claw. Um, does a 17 hit you? Not a chance. Alright, that's its turn. Alright, so it is Matthias' turn. Fuck you! Let's see, what do I got? Uh, I don't think I can do anything. I don't think I can Grab do anything him. worthy. Grapple. I'm going to use a swift action to use my lay on hands on myself, and then I'm okay. going to hit it. Let me roll my lay on hands. Grapple him. Oh, it'll say negative one uses remaining, but I already subtracted it. Oh, yeah. So, six. uh, six? Nice. Alright. Now I'm gonna hit it. Roll the hit. Praise that fucking sun. You gotta raise it. You gotta raise it. Oh, that wasn't good. Actually, that's a 16, but still, I know that it probably doesn't hit. Nope. Well. <laughs> it's Zalmaru's turn. Zalmaru! My time! I'm jumping on that son of a bitch. Alright, roll an acrobatics check. First you move up, of course. Now you have to roll an acrobatics check. How tall are these? They're large. Roughly five feet off the ground. Okay, roll acrobatics. Okay. Uh, well, the fucking. Are you gonna do Firefox. it down for us? Are, are we Legend of Zelda now? We might be. Well, you have an axe, so we more like swing down than. Hang on, I need to change the music because this has gone interesting. No. Oh, acrobatics, acrobatics! God, this fucking Skills. thing is too goddamn long. Yeah, it's skills. Yeah. It's at the very top of the skills. Yeah, Should be the first skill. I have a negative seven to acrobatics. Yeah, because armor. So it's plus ten. Plus ten on top of it. Your bonus. It's not. On top of your existing bonus, plus ten. Yeah, it's, it's loading, I think. This goes away, doesn't it? No, it's three minutes. Three minutes, okay. So that's a- it's staying there. Um... There you go. So 26. Yeah, you jump on it. Um, but now you have to roll a CMB. Okay. Um... What? You just shrug it off. That's in Would your... I have to do a swift action and an attack? Yeah. It was a move action to jump on it. Yeah, but he could do a swift action and attack. But he needs to roll the CMB to get on to stay on. Yep. Yeah. Literally uh, seven of the right now. That's attacks. Yeah, it's under attacks. <laughs> we'll wrestle it to ground, pin it, and then beat the shit out of it. It'll be great. This is more just to stay on it. Actually, wait, no, you're. I'm gonna count your acrobatics towards it. You beat CMD with acrobatics. Um, you're on it. 
can't do it's not doing anything yeah. yet. Alright, I'm yep. going to, um, gonna gonna use uh, uh ele elemental Is that swift action? That would be a standard action to attack it. Uh, I think he uh, has something to swift action. Uh, Once yeah. per day, oh, swift action. that's activating it, right? Yeah. What is it? Roll it. It's a class feature. Yeah, yeah. but uh, 1d6 elemental damage. Oh, it adds that to your unarmed attack. Yeah. Oh dear. My 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 arms are electricity now. Yeah. Let and don't you have yeah. don't you have gauntlets too? So. so yeah. Armored gauntlets, so you can. Yeah, you would roll your gauntlet attack. Yeah, you would roll your gauntlet attack. Yes, I know. It's super effective. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Zalmar used thunder punch. Well, it is a flying type. <laughs> I see Fred, I'm just letting you know you are on the stream right now, so please. Same with Lee. Same with yeah, Lea's back, but Lea knows you already familiar. Are yeah. you rolling an attack? I'm gonna this thing away. Oh, by the way, since you're on top of it, if it attempts to fly away again... You gotta hold on. You gotta hold on. Actually, encumbrance rules apply, so... He might be happy. He actually might not be able to fly. Let me check his strength. No, he'd be able to fly. No, no, what's, what's the guy, the token, what's Zalmaru's total weight with all of his equipment? He'd be able to fly. He's not holding any equipment and his strength is really high. Ah, okay. <laughs> if we all jump um, on him, maybe. Uh. It's under attacks. I clicked it, I can click the manticore. Yeah, you gotta click the manticore. Get it. I'm <laughs> trying, I can't. I'll do it for you. It's like literally, I'm clicking it and it's and it's not letting me. Is your computer or your internet shit? Uh, the internet is kind of shitty, but that's irrelevant because it gave me a syntax error. Syntax error? When oh, you fucked up, Hat Hatchy! You fucked up. What the hell? You fucked it up. You fucked up the macro. For some reason, it's not letting you select the uh, the token either. Oh, maybe it's because yeah. it's on the same tile as it. All right, roll it manually. Yeah, it's rolling. All right. It's a good thing I have this over here. Wow. Well, that... You get an extra plus one from Inspired Courage. No, you're rolling the hit, not the damage. Doof. 1d20 plus your melee attack bonus. Yeah, like the wrong there you there. go. Yeah, you try to confirm the crit. Uh, that's another roll to hit, right? Same. Yeah. Exact same one. Does he confirm? I don't know what happened in the macro there. It might be. Does he confirm the crit? Uh, let me, let me double check. It has to beat its AC. It's actually a plus five, not a plus three. Oh, so yeah. That's a uh, but you still didn't confirm the crit. No. Okay. But uh, roll damage. That's the uh, spiked gauntlet damage, and then which is it, it's it's one d four plus four, and uh, then the one d six from elemental assault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These these are all like little things, and that's actually a plus. F actually, no, it's a plus five rather. The quick. This is the quick bar. So why that's are not you? Why oh, that's only factoring in the strength. Uh, that's not even factoring in your current strength. Seven. Um, yeah. It's f seven, and then plus the 1d6. And 1d6. Uh, it's 1d6 plus one because of Inspire Courage, right? No. No? Okay. Yeah, it's just straight. Oh. Wow. 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 That's disappointing. Okay. Fizzle. Oh, well. I got, I got three more turns of this. He <laughs> could... It is Iska's turn. He could just jump off of the manticore oh. if it doesn't get him off, and then do it again. Yep. I'm going to continue to stay right where I am. Okay. Wow, nerd. Fuck you, I I turn. Without me, so I'm going to... Free the beast. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to uh, fire two arrows at it using... Uh, whatever that skill is called. Rapid shot. Rapid shot. Okay, roll two attacks. I think Zalmaru being on top of it might have been causing problems, so I'm moving him off. Okay. We'll just assume that he's on that tile. 
Alright. We can hope. This is the plus one... Okay, so the first one misses, the second one hits. The second one does eight damage. Now it has another arrow sticking out of it. How's it look, though, Doc? It's... Not that rough, but it's also got a bunch of arrows and daggers sticking out of it. And a Zalmaru on his back. <laughs> and a Magus on his back. It is Zinche's to. turn. A, a Magus with right. electric arms on its back. I'm not going to run up to it quite yet. Instead, I'm going to take a full round action and enter Monkey Trance. Okay. What does this do? Okay, why did it not post a thing? Whatever. Um, what basically, what happens is I enter the trance, and now I can roll a... Um, of acrobatics check against the monster's CMD to uh, try and make a five foot step as a swift action within uh, instead of as a move action. Instead of oh, a so move it's action. literally the fucking roll from Dark Souls where you do the fucking flips. Wait, yep. can you monkey trance to uh, make a five foot step as a swift action even when you're not right up at it? Um, I don't think so. No, so it's. Swordmaster leaps from the reach of her enemies while uh. Swordmaster can make an ac- acrobatics check opposed by an opponent's CMD. If she succeeds, she may move five feet as swift action within the opponent's threatened area. So okay. You need, it, it's for against an enemy, so it's okay. around them. Yeah, you're going to try and slide into flank, eh? Pretty much, because that's all I can do at this point. It's so Loresius' turn. It's done. Okay. Now you're going to try and scare it again. <laughs> yeah, just scare it. Try to spook it. No. <laughs> it's still ignoring you. You fail. Wait, since I just entered Monkey Trance, wouldn't my uses still be at 10? Oh, no. Yeah, 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 because it's uh, the whole round. It's meant to get into it. Okay, Burp Glip's turn. Uh, hold on. You can move 50 feet, can't you? Because you're fucking dog. Yep. You could you could legitimately right there. move. You could legitimately move here and fucking court of shards. Yeah, still getting a syntax error. Um, you must have fucked up the mana core somehow. You could. Oh no, I found it. It's because I didn't have the crit range set. Ah. Legitimately, though, you could move there and use Court of Shards. Alright, I'll go right there and... There we go. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do that? Yeah. Court of Shards? I'm gonna pull it out one sec. So that would use a level 1 spell per day and a, uh... It's big, so it should be easy to hit. It gets a reflex save, isn't it? Yep. Oh, that's a shitty roll. Oh, well. Still okay. Um, it's, it's a five. It failed its reflex save. Oh, it took six damage then, and now has shards sticking out of it. Yep. Still just an average night. Still wins so turn. The one's gonna go ahead and kill that wounds on Zinche. Already reduced my wand amount. Bam. Wow, that was shit. Zinja has three. Oh yeah, it's only three. Dirt. Wake up, sheeple. It's the manticore's turn. He's gonna try and get the fucker off his back. <laughs> What's your CMD, Zalmaru? Does it grapple? Yes. It would be countered by your CMD. D. Oh, that was shit. 16. CMD is 16. Did he get him off? Did he get mm-hmm. him off? He got a 21. Did you oh. give him the reach around? So yes. It flings you off its back into the square you are currently at. And that's its turn. Matthias' turn. Well, I'm going to, uh... You have flank. I do have flank. I'm just gonna hit it. Oh, it's it's Actually, wait, wait, wait. Can't I do a power attack as a full act? Yeah, you take a minus two to hit in order to do a plus. Yeah. So I just. Or wait, let me check. Roll your power attack class feature. I don't know if I have it in there. I 
don't have or it's not a class feature. It would just be a feat. Combat maneuver. No, power attacks are a feat. Are they? Yeah, you have to have it as a feat. Really? You don't have that feat, do you? Feet? Oh, no, I do have it. You do? Let's see what this does. It's under your feats? The negative one to hit, so I get a plus yeah. one, two, because of the inspired courage. Yeah, so... So, yeah, you, you you take no penalty from the power attack, but you also don't... You essentially, the, the inspired courage and the uh, power attack penalty cancel each other out. Let me attack. All right, so just roll the regular hit. You'll get a plus two to damage. Ah, oh, come on. You miss. Son of a bitch. Um, it's Zomaru's turn. What are you do gonna I do jump Zomaru? on it, or do I just beat that shit? You're right there. It might be better to just beat it. If you get on him, though, I you think have to I'm spend an entire to. turn getting you off. So I could, I could use a... Uh, Full, full attack? Yeah. Yeah, you can full attack. Let's let's do that. Two punches. Well, what you can do is you can attack and spell combat in the same turn. So you spell could... Or, you, you, wait, since you're delivering it through the gauntlets. Yeah, you could spell strike. You could elemental assault shocking grass punch. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be... Nuclear. Yes! I like that thinking. We're so this. roll your... Uh, you can roll it now, it, it works, I fixed it. So you're gonna get the lightning damage from your spell strike, and then there's the elemental assault, and then your standard damage. Alright, so so I'm clicking I'm clicking the dice next to Spike Gauntlets, correct? Yeah, I, I did it. But you can do it now, because you missed when I rolled it. Yeah, don't roll for him, you're ruining his luck. My god doesn't like that. But yeah, you click the dice next to it, and then you click him. And that's an 18, because of Inspire Courage. Yeah, that's an 18. It still misses. What? Oh, fuck. Damn. So, you're... Because, but... Oh, wait. Plus two. Yeah, you hit. You hit him! Yeah! Yes! Thank you. Okay, so you take six damage, as well as the 1d6 from, uh from Elemental Assault as well as I think... Let me take a look. His, uh, what what the hell? Uh, sh shocking Grasp does a lot of damage, so let me see. I mean a lot of damage. Um, danger, high voltage. It does 3d6 damage, so roll 4d6. And then your standard oh my fucking then your standard fucking gauntlet uh, damage on top. I already did that, so it's taking six damage from the gauntlet, okay. or seven actually. And then the three d six. Four d six, because shocking grass plus elemental assault. It's crazy. Oh, right, I forgot. Shit. Jesus! Holy, Holy shit! <laughs> Does it die? It's nope. Still standing after that. It's still standing, but it is not in good shape. <laughs> Jesus! It just got nuked! It's Iska's turn. Oops. Nope. <laughs> Nothing? I hope it's turn. Hide behind the tree <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I just nuked ass. It's it's fine, we got this. Okay, so it's it's Iowert's turn. Fire the composite longbow twice with it. And he's got Alright. Oh yeah, you have you have ranged flanking, because it's point blank. Boom! Wait, since it's point blank, do you don't you get a damage bonus? Uh, that, front, that looks like there's a fucking nuclear fart. That's not me. That's what I was thinking. It looks like a giant fart. That was not me. Who's drawing that? It's a point blank shot, so you get an extra plus one on uh, attack roll. So the first one missed. The second one hit, um, and it does seven damage. He's still standing. Is, is he? Is he angry? He's really in really bad shape. Does his face look like a frowny face? He's snarling. It is Zinche's turn. Do what you gonna do. Fucking yeah, right. hit is already. This, is sending from this space allowed as a flank? Yes, like actually. Yeah. I'm gonna move to here, and I'm going to like attack that. with a Wakazashi. Alright, roll I'm your bad. roll your sneak attack. Roll the hit. The first hit, you get a... Three, 
That Hi, is man. 27, but you would need a 30 to crit because of bonus. Because it's based on the roll. On the die. You hit it. Um, you did 8 damage. Plus, um, roll sneak attack. Sneak attack. Ooh. You decapitate it. Yes! Yes! Yeah! 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 Okay. That wasn't even GM Fiat. The fu- You know what Wakazashis do? They have the deadly quality. Yeah! They just decapitate things. <laughs> yeah! So, is he going to take the head as a trophy? Deadly, when you use this weapon to deliver a coup de gras. Well, we're gonna call that that. Um, it gains up to 4 to damage when calculating yada yada. So that was more GM Fiat than anything, but you decapitated it. Yeah, you look it. for loot! <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, you're not his... gonna take his head as, the fe- as a fucking trophy. Can I no. cut off his tail and then I'm take the tail trophy? I'm looking around because obviously, uh, it, it was here. Just because this was the mu- we used Shadow of the Colossus music there. <laughs> Battle right. victory is a somber thing. Time to make thing perception in... checks for loot. Hey, of that thing? I, I call the can, island for can loot. I... Okay. Can I cut his tail off? Roll perception. Flail. Can I just, um, before all of this, I did roll perception, but can I roll it again anyway too? Yeah, she did roll perception as a general I, survey. Oh, as a general up, survey. All the way what up was there, it? It was like, I think it was 18, but, like, you're gonna have to scroll way up now to see it. Yeah. Well, okay, so first of all, with Zinche's uh, DC 15 perception check, he identifies six greys in the boneyard that appear to have been tampered with. As uh, as in, they seem to have been uh, the bodies exhumed. I'm going to point these out to the rest of the party. And uh, we'll say Dilwyn's DC 15 perception check while searching the southern end of the boneyard, uh, you come upon the remains of what appears to be a camp. A small fire pit, a water skin half full of wine, the aged remnants of some trail rations, and a curious glass vial. Can I check the northwest part of the island? Um, yeah, Dilwyn can right. make a knowledge arcana check or get somebody else to do that. I'm just checking to see if I have arcana. I can also do it. I have it. Well, let's see if Dylan it. has it first. Uh, uh, I don't have it, so I'm going to gesture to, uh... I'm sorry, I always forget how I'm about to get this thing. Iska's right ne- next to you, it's probably easier. I gesture to Iska and hand her the bar and say, Do you know what this is? Okay, uh, let me look at this. Well, it's a glass vial, for one. So yeah, you can make knowledge, Arcana. Nine, so... No, you don't know what it is. And it possibly has something in it. Do you have craft alchemy, up. Iska? No. Okay. Oh, you do? Yeah, you roll craft alchemy. Alright. No, you don't know what it is. Alright, no one's gonna stand up, hold it, and go, hey, anyone have a clue what this is? Time for me to roll it, I guess. Not at lower party. You fucking jumped to the back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. He fucking yeah, jumped on the manticore. It was so great. Ride the manticore. And the then, manticore. and then he I jumped on it. Ass. Ass. He jumped was that suitably me. challenging? That was no. pretty challenging. I was suitably challenging. We just got very, very lucky. We nuked yep. the fucking shit out of it. We, we had like zero heals left on the other seven. And then, on on seven. Was and then I threw on another seven. Like, I was just fucking uh, staring at it. I was gonna actually go up and punch it. Like, he just be like. I'm gonna get you! Punch. Do not leave But yeah, was somebody else identifying it? Yeah, uh, I was gonna try. If he fails, I'll do it. Uh, here we go. Fucking... So many casters. Yeah, he knows it is a dark vision extract. And, uh... Do you say that? I most definitely say that. Okay, Dilwyn, who... Uh, I believe it was Dilwyn who previously identified the flesh golem. That is friend, the beast. I, yeah. I, I did. I, 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 I think someone, one of you did. 
The professor told us everything about him. Yeah, the professor no, 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 he didn't tell you everything about him. He didn't even know. One of you no. identified him as a flesh golem, I require... Mm. I, I know, remember it specifically. Yeah, it yeah and uh, oh, you recall oh. that uh, flesh golems have dark vision, so why would he need such an extract? Dylan's gonna Aha! go ahead and yeah, look, at look at it. And go, okay, but friend back there wouldn't need this, so clearly we're dealing with something else here. Yeah, tell that to the... Uh, Matt seems to say, yeah, tell that to the townsfolk. Mm. Is the, uh, is the chief... Lazane frowns. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, Matt is, gonna... going, Matt is going to wave to him and say, uh... He wasn't referring to you, I was referring to, uh... People in the court. He grunts. Um... Alright, can, can I check the northwest corner of the island for loot? This is probably not gonna be... Oh, uh, you wanna look for the... Um, no, you, uh, you find the manticore's nest. Oh. In the, uh, up in the trees. Do you want to attempt to climb? <laughs> yeah, I you think climb? You, you might want to heal yourself up a little bit before you try climbing so that you don't fall and die. Uh, can I yell that, uh, see if I can get a heal? No, you can't. You've been, uh... Zalmaru could just jump, I think. Yeah, he could just run up and <laughs> jump through it. <laughs> it would be an acrobatics check. But yeah. Oh, right. oh wait, no, it's actually a pretty tall tree. You cool, wouldn't be able to make that jump. Cool name. Right. Speaking is generally assumed well, I could you jump can do climb. it. You could, but that makes the climb harder. Tinder, just a heads up, you are live on the show. I it's true. I can, I'll, I'll just climb. He's muted indefinitely. Oh, yeah. Oh. I guess he's just right, I'll, I'll climb. Can I, can I roll my climb? Yes. Alright, let's roll climb. Oh, oh look at this from... Hot damn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm not going up. It is a rough surface. He could throw it is a, a tree. Yeah, you have no problem climbing it. You make it all the way to the top, and in the mandacore's nest, which is obviously a recent construction, there is the corpse of a dwarf. Oh, rip. The corpse has a colorful patchwork coat, which appears to have numerous pockets. Ah, oh, it's this! It's that! I knew this! Hey, uh, guys. Pockets, not patches. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Hey, uh, guys, we got a dwarf over here. Are you gonna uh, loot the dwarf? Yeah, I'll loot the dwarf when I'm up there. You find a, uh, oil of keen edge. You Again, you find an oil of keen edge. A package of body bomb. What? Oh, body bomb. What? Body yeah, B O D Y B A L M. Okay. What? A silver hit flask, still containing a bit of brandy. A felt purse with thirty-one platinum and twenty-two gold. And a masterwork short sword, and a wand. All right. So. What is body bomb? The body bomb I don't know. From Axe body spray. Yeah, it's like it's axe, axe body spray, except effective at making how, people attractive to you. Uh, thirty-one platinum and twenty-two gold. Well, what do you do with all this loot? Body bomb. This pungent yellow powder is boiled and given to a creature to drink. It provides the attending healer a plus five alchemical bonus on heal checks for providing long-term care, treating poison, and treating disease. Oh. So, I wonder who would get that. It's medicine. Okay, so can I toss the wand to Dylan? Yep. I'll, I, I throw it around. I'm not even tossing it. Catch fucking... check. Just let it hit the Claris. Yeah. You can just... It's a cleric. cleric. I want to catch it. Cleric and arms you catch it successfully. Um, uh... What was it again? Um... You can identify it with spellcraft, of course. Right, I'm gonna identify it then. We'll try to, hopefully. Let's see, do you? Please. Please, Dolan, don't drop the spaghetti. She's already dropped the spaghetti. spaghetti. You've already dropped <laughs> You've already dropped it. The spaghetti flows fall just... from the wand. It Watch is a wand of spaghetti. You identified as a wand of ghost sound with 22 charges. Oh, give it to the bard. Yeah, it's it just makes noises. <laughs> No one's gonna hold it up. It makes though. unintelligible noises, mind you. No one's makes gonna, sounds. No one's gonna hold that up and go, hey, who wants an annoying noise wand? Oh, wait, and then walks over to Blub Blub. 
<laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Matthias is gonna laugh and say, I thought you were going to zinch. Dem, you got a wand of nothing. I squawk back and say, I don't need a wand. You literally have a wand of nothing from Space Station 13. It makes annoying noises. Could it be a wand of a bomb? <laughs> wand of bizarre. <laughs> if bomb. he wants it to make an unintelligible noise that kind of resembles a bomb, he can. A bomb. Can I see a bomb? Can I knock the nest? Is Dem there? Oh, yeah, it just says Bazinga. Yeah. Okay. He knows what it down? means, but it says it. Can I knock the dead nest down to see if we can identify the dwarf? If you want to break the bones of the corpse. Yeah. Can I punch the tree? <laughs> I, I can punch really? the tree. Be fine. It's a man's meal. I don't All think right, you need to identify I throw, it. I throw, I, throw the, I throw the dwarf down the tree. Jesus! <laughs> Mantis is going to say, Bahamache, what are you doing? I see it's raining, Be a little man. more careful. Whoa. Oh. So you you, ha you got a silver hip flask, oil of keen edge, the body bomb, the gold, the short sword, masterwork short sword, and a wand of ghost sound. All right. That's everything um, you got. Anyone wants a masterwork short sword? Fuck it. Give it to me. All right. I hand it to the paladin. Now I have a short sword and a look. No, you gotta climb down before you can hand it to me. Oh, is, is that another acrobatic yeah, otherwise No, you, you climb down. You shimmy shimmy down. Oh, you man, crit it on your success on up, ass. so you have an easy enough time doing it. I wanted to see him fall on his ass. So I have 22 charges on the wand, right? It's a wand yes. of random noises. noises. It's great. It's, it's useful in stealth scenarios to distract people, but otherwise it's just annoying. Yep. Bazinga. It's actually extremely useful in self stealth scenarios. Are it's we... like throwing a magazine in uh, Metal Gear. They'll be like, huh? What was that? Yep. Yeah, we, we, we might want to give that to Zinch. No, he can't use it without a use magic device check. Yep, so Burb yeah. gets it. Burb Glub can just use it. Oh, he is the bard. <laughs> Alright, can we identify the dwarf's body? It's a dwarf. It's a dwarf. No, well, Matt is gonna features? say, hey, maybe that's his camp. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Matthias is going to give a bit of a, uh, what's it, patronizing chuckle. Okay, does anybody want to make any additional perception checks? Yeah, uh, I would like to examine the uh, recently disturbed graves. I'll probably get jack shit, but I'm going to do it. Bazinga. Bazinga. Hey, look, I got jack shit. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> You yeah, you didn't find anything. Too. But, uh, okay. Sudden, I mean, it's seconds. dirt. It still looks like dirt. Well, from, uh, you know what? From Zinche's early survey of the island, he also found a small boat hidden in the trees among the southwest shore, right about there. Oh. And are we gonna look at it? I'm gonna look at it. I'm going to look it over to see if, like, any possessions were left on there or anything of the sort. Anything mm -hmm. valuable, you know. You know. Oh, it's to see if somebody was using it or if we have anything identifiable. And maybe it's from mm, maybe it's Right, from right, right, says the crow. Okay, so yeah, you notice in That's the right. boat there is an oar, a moldy leather travel bag, uh, and yeah, that's what's in the boat. As well, there is a length of rope extending from the boat down into the water. It appears to be taut. Oh. I have a powerful urge to use that scroll. Well, first Probably, of all... Uh... The anchor. The bird appears to be very dirty. I'm gonna check the bag. You're okay, inside the bag you find a damp artisan's outfit, um, and a vile object, what appears to be a human face. <laughs> Just the skin. Just the skin. Okay, I drop it, and I let out a loud squawk. Matthias comes running to save his lover. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna say, hey, what happened? There is a face in the bag! The face has a bag? No, a face in the bag! The bag has, the bag a, face. has a face! No! There well, is yes, a face I, that I was yelled. inside of the bag! Alright, I, I yelled the- A whole face? Yes, a whole face! I yelled that they need to go face to face with their issues. God damn it, Cooling, stop! Well, I'm going to punch you so hard in the dick. Also, how can you- I'll punch, punch you hard, face. then I punch that man. What? What's sparkling? I was going to just ask you to get rid of the turn order, but... <laughs> oh. Dylan yeah. walks over to Iowa and slaps him in the face. Everyone <laughs> <is> <laughs> right now. 
Can all of us hit him in the face? Um, an, um, an arm to stack. Oh dear. Okay. I'm hitting him in the face. Hey, <laughs> roll attack roll. Tim, do you want to do anything? I, um, I, I throw one of my smoke arrows into the ground and then run away. No, no, we're hitting you first. We're hitting you in the face first. <laughs> you all succeed. We all hit him in the face. <laughs> uh, except Zinch. Okay, anyways, there's still the rope. And if Dem wants to do anything or anybody else... I'm gonna try pulling the rope! Strength check? Let's do this! You poke the face, it pokes back. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You attack the- I'm oh, just kidding. Oh, this time. No. <laughs> there's well, no with a arrow. mighty grunt, Matthias does jack shit. No, you pull it up. It's just a bag. <laughs> bag. Well, I'm gonna open up the bag and look inside. Hopefully there's not What's another face. What's in the bag? What's, What's in, in the, the box, bag? Hootie? What's in oh, the also, in the bottom of the boat, there was dried blood. Um, oh. in the bag... Uh... It is a large bag that appears to be large enough to hold, uh, something fairly large. And it is soaked with dried blood. Oh. Ooh. Is there anything else inside of it? Or is it empty? Does it smell it's, it holds some rope, a gag, a rusted lantern, and a trio of uh, a trio of heavy knives and a rusted shovel. Sounds like someone was having an interesting night. Are the knives of okay quality? No, they are very poor quality. I can't be looks, like, uh, looks like looks like grave robbing equipment shit. to me. It looks like murder equipment. It has a gag, you nerd. I know. Can I just say I'm ashamed of the joke I made? I'm so sorry. Which joke? I said, well, it looks like somebody's home for an interesting night. Ugh. <laughs> and, uh... Dem, where are you currently standing? Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to turn to, uh, the guy who brought us here. Oh. Ask, uh, the great rock. Dem. You... Based on where you are, make a perception check. Oh. But that's you, Burp Club. I know I gotta pull the thing up. Hold on, it's on the uh, item page. Not having it up 24 7. And add your stone cunning bonus. Covered in cat hair. Oh, you add your stone cunning bonus? He has that. Yep. Sweet. Sweet. Stone cunning. <laughs> Why is it that he fucking knows everything and we're like, uh uh? Okay, never mind, you don't notice shit. Well, even with his bonus? Even with your bonus. Okay. Well, in any case, uh, what was it I was going to do? I, I'm going to ask the guy who brought us here. Uh, you made sure, you confirmed that all of the bodies were missing, right? You guys, a lot of you did? Like, all the bodies from the graves? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And then I squawk out, so what's up with the face then? I, face? I what face? There's in a face! The boat, there's a the face! face. In the oh! This boat wasn't here before, or we didn't see the boat before. How about the door? The, the, the mana core wasn't there before either. What about the door? That's new. Huh. Can I hmm, wait a second? I assume the mana core ate it. Did anybody check if the, if, the, if the dwarf has a face? <laughs> it's stripped. <laughs> it's flesh is stripped off of the bones oh. all of it it was be it was me it was eaten for the most part eh? um, yeah can i uh, nudge Matthias to see if he can detect evil on lasna i was just about um on who? Murdered. Uh, okay. uh, the dude fine i'll sense evil on him i look at him intently for a second he's not evil not evil i'm just going to shake my head at him at, um, at, uh, i'm going to shake my head at uh iworth what spot sense murder uh yeah, go ahead. You don't think he's lying. Okay. okay. Well, in any case, uh... Matthews is gonna stroke his chin for a second and say, Well, there's only one way to find out. And, uh, he, he's gonna take the shovel that was there and head off towards the disturbed graves. Oh. Paladin's gonna start digging up graves. This well, yeah, is we gotta make sure that good. nobody was. Listen, he has a this suspicion. Is too good. He has a suspicion of something. 
Which means that it's for the greater good. Okay, and he's gonna I... start. He's gonna start digging up the ground. Anyway, they're not. They're not no one follows the religion the here. His religion here, so it doesn't matter. They're all heretics. No, that doesn't. That's not how. I'm not heretic. That's not how paladins work, you dope. They're supposed to embody their deity, not hunt down Matthias heretics. Matthias was later excommunicated from the church. You don't understand hey, yeah. why he's doing Hedgy. it, but he's doing it. He's digging up the grave. Hedgy, what does he find? Hang on. Can... I cheer. Oh, okay. I was gonna ask if I could do a perception check on the boat. So he finds this we already have. We've done have. a few. Just doing something really quickly. And yeah, you, you've already examined the boat, oh, like, yeah, pretty much that entirely. Okay. Examined the magic. shit out of that boat. Guys, wait. The Hatchy is busy finding out what happens when I dig up the grave. I continue playing. All six play. graves are empty. All six graves are empty. There's only six. So I, if I dug six feet down, the ones that were uh, that appeared to be robbed. Okay, all empty. Hmm. I'd like to examine some of the other not undisturbed graves a little closer. It, look, it looks like these graves have been disembodied. Shut the fuck up. Stop it. I, no one slaps I up again. Roll on our Roll strength. attack. You miss. She does it again. <laughs> Warned you. Oh my god, I'm sorry. She's gonna hit on that second one. Oh, and he, he did a strike too. Damn it. You missed what, that. What if we were to have uh, Dylan use the uh, scroll of Dr. Dead on the face? It would have no effect. It needs. It, oh. It, it's a face. It is the skin off of someone's face. It is not the remains it's also of dead. someone. It's not the but yeah, magic? whose face is it? I have no fucking idea. It's a face. A man jumps gonna... and screams, "My face!" I'm gonna, I'm gonna detect magic on it. Is that okay? Yeah, you detect, detect no magic. Spam detect okay. magic on everything. I'm still playing with it. Lasne is staring at the gnome with a scowl. It's stretchy. Matthias is going to show back. Put the face down. Why? Respect for the dead. Pins. And then he grabs. The, the Lasne grabs the face and he stares at it for a few moments. It's stretchy. Matthias is going to quirk an eyebrow at this and ask something wrong. This was Nam Kleblin. Nam Kleblin. Fucker was a poacher. Okay. Um, Why is his face here? Maybe, the best Maybe because he was coaching. Well, looks like he finally faced his doom. No one's seen him in a month. Or, er, sorry, nobody's seen him in a year. Huh. Strange. Since the beast attacks. Or, um, Dylan, Dylan shakes the vial and goes, or not the beast attacking. He scowls at you. His name is Fred! Dylan scowls back. <laughs> God damn it. He scowls at Iska. <laughs> Matthias is going to add, going to shout to the lot of them. Could we not piss off our only ride back? That one's gonna turn to Matthias. But his name is Fred. Reaffirming the truth of the situation. <sighs> he grunts and walks back to his boat and just sits on the ground nearby. That one's going to face back. Jesus, the lot of you. Anyway, Matthias is going to examine those graves, the other ones that were not disturbed. Let me roll my perception and fail. They don't appear to have been disturbed. Hmm. Well, I'm going to defer to Iworth here and ask him, uh, could you take a look around, see if uh, there's anything left behind by whoever left the face there? Alright, um, Tracks I and see whatnot. Sure. Uh, can I make a survival check? No, you, you can make a perception check. Perception. Uh, skip. <laughs> I doubt there will be tracks after, like, a year after these attacks happened. Well, if they... You don't find anything. Possibility. It's a year after I'm not these attacks happened, though. Well, hmm. So, Manticore is probably unrelated. It's just a Manticore. I can't take out... Take out my bottle of mystery. Graves were robbed. I'm gonna be out back, guys. And there's a face torn off. What about the dwarf? Do you think maybe he might have taken the face of the- It's bullshit? about 7am. No, but it's- was the bag, like, dumped into the water? Uh -huh. 
That was attached Cars to the It was in a rope t- at the bottom of the le- of the river. In any case, okay. Matthias is going to uh, point to the dwarf and ask, So what was he doing here? This is not a great place to be camping, especially if you know the area. He could have just been picked up anywhere while the monk- manticore was hunting. Camp. There's a camp here, and we're... The, the, the camp, um, the ro- Iowerth rolls survival on it. Okay. Scrolling, scrolling. Guys, I think I know where The camp appears to be the remains of... Or, sorry, it appears to be the remains of a year-old camp. Okay, so this is... Is he gonna tell us? Uh, it appears to be a year old. So this is definitely from when the grave robberies happened and when our friend's face was tossed to the bottom of the lake. Yeah, I no, it was in the boat. No, it was in a rope. It was in the No, no, no. The rope had, like, the, 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 the face was in a bag simply in the boat. Yeah, okay, whatever. In any case, he says this is important. that with the admittance. You know what? I don't trust this elder dude's uh, observational skills. He didn't notice a fucking campsite in his own graveyard. Okay. I want to talk to the elder. Uh, is it okay, if I ask the elder, I'm sure. Going to want to ask a few questions as well. Oh, can I go Since first? I have the high diplomacy score here, and never use it I because just, you're I, I want to ask some questions first, though. I have an idea. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go talk to the elder dude. So, so, so you said that this face used to belong to a poacher, right? Mm-hmm. And he went. He, you haven't seen him since around the time of these attacks. That's right. Okay, I have a question. Do you know, or did anybody see him around town the night of the attacks? No. No. Well, he went missing. Yeah. Leading up to the attack, did you just was there anything weird about how he disappeared or? Didn't notice. Matt is going to sense motive to see if he's lying. With his observational skills, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually didn't know that. <laughs> I, don't, I probably don't understand anything. The hint is that you should roll too. Okay, I'll roll it. But do I notice anything first things first? Give me a sec. Do I think he's lying? Give me a sec. I... Oh, Zinch definitely knows what's going up. You don't think he's lying? What if it, does Zinch think he's lying? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Matthew's is going to nod a few times, and he's going to ask a question now. Uh, he's going to ask: This campsite was here last time you were you uh, looked around, right? Didn't notice. Clearly. Sense motive. Jesus. You believe him. <laughs> what is Zint? Does Zinch believe him? Yes. Yeah. Alright, well Matthew's He's gonna not nod a few times and uh, say hey, it could have been overlooked through the scuffle, especially since you mentioned the alligator. Uh, I don't like this guy. You can go ahead and roll it. Yeah, I know nothing. <laughs> okay. That was a seven. Maybe we should go ask some of the other uh, people who were involved in the I, trap. Uh, I had uh, another thing to say, actually, which was, uh, he's gonna motion to the boat and say, you, you didn't see that either, though, then. No. Sex right. motive again. Good. I don't I'm not know. even gonna bother sensing motive. You believe him? Lying to us. He might be. You should do it. He hasn't lied about anything else, but fine, I'll do it. Everyone has something to hide, you nerd. That's what investigation's about. Earlier, he actually did mention, uh, well, that wasn't here before. Kind of like an an aside thing, like, what? Like, yes, but you need to check anyway. And we sensed motive on that, though, earlier. Yeah, you did sense motive on it. Yeah, it's still, so it would apply to all good, future events where he wouldn't good, know about the boat. It's good to be thorough. People might have things to hide. That's what the investigation is about. It's he does have, have a point, but you guys hide. rolled well on that early sense motive, so it was already confirmed. In any right. case, yeah. you, I built it. Can I point to the? Bloody and you believe him? Can 
Okay. That's the same. It's the boat. Yep. That they're talking about. Yeah. yeah he doesn't know anything about it. He no, he didn't know. see it before. Matt's just gonna uh, point a We're finger at him. We're terrible at noticing things. How do you really do it? <laughs> yeah, Matt's just gonna tap his chin and say. He scowls at you and he stalks over towards the boat. And he no, trips. Oh, well, Matthews is going to walk over and help the guy out. It's like, and uh, at his feet, you notice a small leather case. Matthews is going to pick it up and look over it. But like, what is this? Do I have to roll perception? or? It, it appears to be a set of uh, tools of some kind. Well, Matthews is going to open up the, the case and see what's inside. Bye. It's a set of tools. Uh, roll heal. Oh man, this is my time. I have this. <laughs> Actually, I have low wisdom, but it's my time. You don't know what it is. Well, I'm gonna defer it? to uh, I'm gonna defer to Dilwyn and say, hey, you know what this is? I have no idea what just happened. I'd be up and told you guys. Oh. oh. Well, I found a thing, and I'm asking you what it is, and you have to roll heal to find out what it is. Okay, I'll roll heal. What if it's just a tool box? If we're yeah, trying to find out what know. kind of tool. It's a leather case of okay. tools. We want to know what tools they are, what they're used for, not if they're tools. God damn it. You jinxed me earlier. You jinxed right, so right. yeah, that's worse than mine. Oh, well, I'm going to I'm gonna wave it around then and say, does anyone know what this is? I've got heal. I'll try it. Oh. No, oh. 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 Sweet bleeding cry. Yeah, none of you knows what it is. Well, I'm gonna look cool. to the guy who tripped over it and say, You got any idea what this is? Nope. Is this a new hmm. thing? Well, Matthews is gonna pocket it anyway. Maybe someone else can find out what the hell it is. Hang on a second. Is that a new guy or is that the guy from the boat? That's the guy from the boat. That's, that's that okay. asshole. That's the guy you guys keep antagonizing. Oh, Our only right back. Antagonizing him at all. I'm not antagonizing him, I'm simply reaffirming that we found the truth of the situation. Because I'm being totally antagonizing. You haven't found anything. We found suspicious shit. We didn't prove anything. If we proved shit, we wouldn't be here. We proved that there's been a bottle of dark vision stuff here for a year, and the and friend has no need for it. Therefore, he wasn't here. That also, you found a lot of stuff that doesn't really make any sense for yeah, that's him. Like it's suspicion. That's not hard proof. That's oh, it's like, not hard proof. It can be hand yes, waved. Wait, it's it's more like it says that he wasn't here than anything of saying his guilt. It can be hand waved really easily yeah. as well, circumstantial. We it's circumstantial. It's like, well, we saw him. We saw him fighting with the Gator. We saw yeah, all these things. Who else could have either. done it? I have. He's a, he's a you don't you draw do? conclusions until you get all the evidence. Exactly. I want to ask another question. Can I ask another question, guys? Go for it. So Just I turn to the elder guy, I can't remember his name for the life of me, and I ask, were you the only one who came up with this trap plan, or was there anybody else involved with orchestrating this? There's a bunch of us. Anybody in particular that's prominent in town? Maybe like a doctor or a librarian? Not really. We're all just simple swamp folk. We fish. How about someone with uh, more knowledge than the average person might have? Yes. Is there a smarty pants in town? Are you calling us all dumb? No, I'm asking no, if, there's, we mean if there's some smarty, more than average. If there's some like academic type, ah. somebody who's really into books. Nope. That sort of thing. Was there anybody weird in town that night? Nope. Uh, well, I think that's all we can gather from here, at least. Unless we want to do one last survey before we leave. Actually, uh, what would the... Is, are uh, flesh golems co common? What kind of role would that be to determine if they're common? What? Or, like, they're not common. They have to be created by a necromancer. Okay. Yeah. That one's going to walk here, and then I'm going to roll... Well, actually... Certain kinds of flesh golems are pretty common oh, around here. No position like, uh, yeah. roll knowledge local. Okay. Well, that was I worth, worth wanting to know. All right. Yeah, you know that, uh, for example, you can purchase flesh golem, flesh golem hounds as guard dogs. It's just humanoid flesh golems. It's Ustalov, so... Hatchy, I'm moving over yeah? here, and I'm going to roll perception one last time, just generally. Oh, okay. You don't really find anything of interest. 
Can I do perception again to, with my stone working thing to see if I see the thing you Unfortunately, it's not a retriable check. No. Uh, anyway, I think that's all we're going to get from here uh, since we've pretty much scoured the island. So, uh, Matthias is going to say thank you to the man and uh, quietly, out of earshot of everyone, apologize for how they've. Uh, how they've. Uh, what's the word? How they've been antagonizing him. Uh, we're just, they're just trying to be thorough. He scowls at you for a moment, and then looks like he's thinking. And then he looks up at you, grunts, and he's like, Well, quite frankly, I still think the beast did it. But this, this is weird. It's got me confused. And frankly, I want to get to the bottom of this. Matthias is going to nod and say, I tend to agree with you, friend. Uh, Do you mind? I'm going to be heading into Leopardstadt today. Do you mind if I come with you on your way? Oh, Matthias is going to nod and say, uh, we're going to be going down to the sanctuary that burned down. You could accompany us to there. It's on the way. All right, well, uh, yeah, we're we're going to get going. All right. We have one task that we have to accomplish. Everybody's done everything they wanted to do on the island? Well, first I want to clarify something. I want to go out of my way to ask Maddie if we can go back in the same boat so I can go over some of the details with him on the way back without anybody in earshot. Matthew's going to say, sure. Okay. I'm going to keep the pace. <laughs> God God damn it. It. That's evidence. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm keeping it. Oh yeah, that's right. Iska has to... In fact, the leather case Iska should keep. Yeah, and all the tools and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna hand that off, and then the tools and shit can go on Iska as well. All the stuff that we gather here. All the evidence-ish stuff. There was the face and some clothes, some artisan's clothes, and in the other case there was a crap load of tools. There was a gag, uh, rope, shovel, shovel, and knives. Yeah. It was a ball gag? It was a gag. It's just a general gag. It's it's generic as fuck. Hatchy. Would the vial hmm? also count as evidence? The what? The vial, the vial? yes. All right, Dylan's gonna hand that over. And the stuff I found on okay. the dwarf doesn't count. No, the no. dwarf. We've already determined that was the Manticore's dinner. Taste pretty quickly cake. too, because it's like that guy is not as old as the camp. So actually, can I cut off the tail of the Manticore and use it as a flail? That would be an improvised weapon, and it would rot over time. Oh, okay. You could try to get it head. Somehow you get it preserved. Magic. All right, I'll, 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 I'll cut it off and take it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, you have manticore's tail. With the manticore tail. Can I grab the manticore sever head? Sure. Matthias is gonna bury his head in his hands and say, "I think that what's going on here isn't the weirdest thing that's happened lately." <laughs> I continue stretching the face. God damn it! Stop. Matthias is gonna say, "Stop mutilating the evidence." I'm not breaking it. You might. Just put it away. Fine. Sure. What what alignment is this guy? Uh, chaotic neutral. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, chaotic crazy. And this, crazy. Bitch. and this person is the court's official delegate for us. God help us all. Yeah. I well, no she's a resident of Bustalov. They help us all. Iska is a resident of Usalov, so I mean... It's not out of the pi- it's not out of the question, it's just like, please put the face away before you break it. Are we gonna have to baptize her? With, um, with the power of Iomide? No. You're not, not even part of Iomide's church, Loris. I'm, I'm not an inquisitor. This, this, is my, this is my domain, sir. Recruiting followers for Desna. But yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an inquisitor, I just, I just lead by example. I mean, they're yeah. the majority religion, because, like, two of them, I and mean, that's just... Oh, in any case, them. we're not being pushy about our religions, let's move on. I'm going to be yeah. in the same thing as Zinch. A lot of you can pair up with whoever you want. I keep my hand in my pocket, and you suspect that I'm still stretching the face. I'll Please. hop in the boat with the... Stop, stop. <laughs> Please stop mutilating the evidence Dem? before I the GM it. starts... Shh. What them? Rolling fucking break DC. I forgot her name. Iska? Yes, I hop in the boat with Iska. Okay. Oh. No one's gonna go to vote with Zarma and keep looking at him suspiciously. If you keep, but yeah, if you keep stretching that, uh, eventually Hatchy's gonna start rolling break DCs. 
pain. She's got tiny gnome hands. But yeah, yeah she's stretching flesh, which doesn't really... Especially old flesh is not very rubbery. It's extremely well-preserved. Yeah. In any they probably case, salted it. In any case, it's still like... It will break if you stretch if it. If it has to run stop. away over a year. Oh, yay! I'm going in circles. Who else hasn't had a um, bird buddy? Let's go. Okay, in the box. Zinche is with Matthias. Yeah. Dylan is with... I. Okay, Loresius is with uh, Iowerth. And uh, what's-his-face is going in his own boat, unless somebody else wants to accompany him. I don't want to be and just be like, sup? I'm with Zalmaro because Dylan is just <laughs> very suspicious of him at this point. <laughs> just like, what are you fucking doing, mate? Laris just does not want to be near the burb or the fucking Also, yeah, that, that does remind me. How the fuck did I get back in, involved with this group? Like, you, you just showed up. I come back up. in. You just, up, you just up, kind up. of works. Okay. Showed up. That works. That that actually yep. works perfectly. Just like sup, and we're like, hey, sup. I'm back. Okay. My. So taking the river. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't met a cool name or. Taking the river would actually take longer, so you just head back to uh, Morast. No, you yeah, but on the boats, on. there's a conversation that has to take place between. Do, 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 I'm filling them in on some of the. We're gonna go to Morast, and unless something happens, we're gonna continue on to Sanctuary. Can, uh, okay, you can ford the river here and take a little less time, or you can go around to the bridge and then go down. Actually, uh, Hatter wanted to do a conversation with um, Matthias and that. That's uh, why they have uh, a separate uh, boat. So can you let? Them oh go? yeah, but I'm just thinking. Um, when you get there, you can either forge the uh, river or you can continue up the road to here and uh, take the bridge. Take. Um, we've got horses fording. Well, I mean, that's gonna take geez. an extra. Two hours if well, you went all the way up to the bridge. Proceed until uh, the witness goes, so we can take. Yep. We can take our time. Let's just go across the bridge. Okay. So, anyways, you wanted to do your thing, right? Yep. Yes. What did you want to say there, Zinch? So I look over to the Maddie. I can't hear you because Hatchy has his shit open. Right, so Sorry. I look over to Mattias as we're rowing back on the boats to um, Morass, and I say, "So I didn't want to mention it in front of our elder friend, but I know for a fact that." The beast wasn't there on that night from his story. He would have had bite marks on his shoulder, and I didn't see anything like that when we first saw him. Ah, Matthias is going to nod and uh, scratch at his cheek, saying, Still circumstantial, but if we can tie it together, definitely definitely could have something concrete, like uh, in Hergstag. And then I say, additionally, that set of clothes and that face is really out of place. Almost like it was no shit. maybe a disguise of some kind. Well, I mean, it wasn't magical, it was just a face. Still, under the right circumstances. Some creatures I might did. be able to use it. But, I mean, it looks more like the guy was killed, and then his body is wherever. I wouldn't rule anything out. Before, it's like that fucking movie with that guy. Okay, are you done your conversation? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you guys get to the sanctuary by about 10 a.m. Yeah, that's early enough. Do oh, and I just realized if anybody needs to heal. Yeah, I need to heal. I can help with that. I, can't help with that. I need to regen my mana. Hang on, I'll just throw you all at the sanctuary first. Yeah, you guys don't have time. We do not have time to rest. No, it's the mi it's still the morning of the same day. You don't have to make fort saves except overnight. Okay. I can't take a swig out of my mysterious alcohol bottle. Please. No. What is it? Polyjuice gonna... potion? Uh, no. No, it's... it's just that actual fucking bit of alcohol that he got from the ringmaster. That's crazy strong. Yeah, it's like also my years. health bar does not exist. I noticed. Even as mine. I got I, it, though. I, can I offer the party a swig of the mysterious alcohol I bought from the ringmaster? Dylan shakes her head and instead raises the wand of healing. And I'm, good. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll that a few times for you, son. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, there you go. How much? That's seven. There you go. Uh, that's six, five, minus two, nine. Minus Give me just one so second. So that's fourteen health healed. Will that do you good, Iowa? Yep. 
Oh, I have 22 health right now. For some reason, the bar isn't showing up. I'll do yeah. that. I'm fixing all of them right now. Oh, okay. Guys, fixing. Oh, I'm, I've, I've, I've. I have why zero do you health. always? Why do you always place me at the back? That's not the back. And I just kind of I copy pasted everyone over from the other thing. Yeah, I'm putting me at the gold in front. Generally speaking, the marching order should have your tank at the front. You don't want to stay attached to, stay. to Matthias like almost almost like fucking glue at this point. Just like hey, why? Because because so it's cute. your job to keep me standing while I hit shit. We're the only oh, dream team. Oh, it's so cute. And they're and traveling companions. Why aren't they? Sweet? Wink, wink. Please no. Their companion. Well, nah, see, it's me. Uh, more, more, more so, Frog just gets shit slapped a lot. I really do. She yeah. she does not handle any of my shit. When I say companions, I mean they just kind of travel together. They're not we let, we both together. Left from, together. Uh, shit. What was the what was the city? Absalom. Called? We both left from Absalom together, and we just stuck together while we traveled about. Because yep. Dylan went well, you know. It, it's a paladin. I mean, I'm just a fucking scholar, really. He can hit things while I hide. And they sort of have a grudging friendship sort of thing. Like, they trust each other, but they still take the piss. That's great. So, remember, the third crime the Beast is accused of is an arson attack on the Asylum of Sanctuary on Bile, which is where you mm. currently are. Yeah, it, yeah, I, yeah I, I think we I can think tell. We tell. The whole the fucking whole place is destroyed. destroyed. Mm -hmm. okay. The sad remnants of a broken building lie in a spur of land jutting into the river. The burnt timbers of a large house sag into the undergrowth of nettles and thistles. Nature is taking back this charred ruin, as if trying to erase dark memories. Nearby, a small cluster of gravestones jut from the weeds. Well, uh, Matthias is going to defer to Iworth and Zinch and motion them to the large piles of rubble and say, take like a look around then. Alright, Earworth says, uh, this looks like a cheerful enough place. Uh, it was an insane asylum. Awesome. Alright, so, um, can I attempt to find where the, uh, source of the fire was? Yeah. I, I just I said to went. look it over, but, I mean, is that possible? Well, it's done considering for the, Considering no. how long ago the burning down was, and the fact that nature's retaking it, it might be difficult. It's impossible. Alright, can I just do a little general look over of the area then? No, yep. we're not going to let you. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, can do... questions like, can I speak? <laughs> okay, I able, so... Am I able to tell if uh, if my feet exist? Well, Frank, I, I do the same thing. It's not that we're asking, can we do the thing? We're asking, know, can we have the turn to do the thing? No, 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 no. It's like, he... Um, uh, Frank, just stop. Like... Frank is okay. just asking permission to do so. Okay. You need to. You always have to tell me that you're going to do something before you do it. Oh, sure. Announcing your intent, sure. But he asks it like, "Am I able to speak?" And like, "No, you're muted." Yeah, it's unnecessary to, to comment on that. Um. Uh. Anyways, so he notices a three foot wide hole in the south side of the ruins that seems to lead below the ground. Oh uh, yeah, this one. Yep. Right. And he also notices a uh, while searching through the ruins, a charred metal strong box warped by the heat of the fire. Um, the lock is completely fused together. Oh, oh. looks like you're gonna hand it me. I'll st I'll, I'll be swole. I'll rip it open. All right. Uh, I can tossed I over. I tossed... On it? Oh. it does not work. Damn. Open okay. only works if there is nothing obstructing it. Can I toss it to Matthew to see if he can bash it open? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, try I'm to, gonna rip, try it to rip it open. Go ahead. You can't break can't those break cuffs. cuffs. I can break I... these cuffs! You can't break those cuffs. You fail. I can't break those cuffs. Can I ah! smash it open? I'm gonna hit it with, uh... I'm gonna hit it with that Masterwork short sword and try to break it open. Like, as a lever? No, like, break it open. It's metal. Oh, okay. Well, I'll try to wrench it open with a sword, then. Go a... ahead. You'll get a slight bonus. On oh, my strength check? Yes. You do not succeed. Shit. Hmm. Um, Loris is gonna say, pass it over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you gonna, gonna do? Toss it to Loresius and see what he does. I'm gonna try and break it open. <laughs> strength check. Oh, little fucker. If he breaks it open, this is gonna be He fails. 
Dylan's gonna ask for it to be handed over. Yeah, I'll pass it to. It's at this point that I pipe up and say, "You guys are gonna have more luck if you buy some acid and pour it on it than doing that." We don't have time for that. Oh. You fail. Dylan shrugs and chucks it over her shoulder. Betsy scrambles and picks it up, saying, "This is evidence." It's pretty useless evidence. Can, can I bash it with a mantle? Betsy is tail? going to. Betsy is going to shove it towards Zinch and say, "Well, why don't you try opening it then?" Because I'm not an idiot, can and he, I know can I can't he... pry it open with my bare feathers. Oh, you got your beak. I am not using my beak on that. I'm yeah, sure you I'm could do it. I, I, I could punch it. Try punching it. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna hand it to Zaomaru and say, "Hey, can you get this open?" Lightning hands. Uh, oh, that's hand dangerous. The fucking lever too. The fucking. Uh... He's gonna hand it with a sword too to help pry it open. Can we both? The pry use the sword at the same time to try to. You can attempt to work like that, sure. Yeah, I think, I, I think that would like probably count as an assist. That would count as an assist. Both so, uh, both of you roll strength checks. Wh who's the... assisting? That'd be Zawaru. Okay. Oh rip. Yeah, you fail. Regardless of what Zawaru rolls. All right, let's try this again one more time. Shit. You fail. God, Are, wait, 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 and then uh, looks at anyone else and say, "Can anyone make sense of this?" Dylan's going to work over. Dylan's got linguistics. All right. Well, Dylan can help out. My time has come. My time for words. He was hoping there'd be something more concrete. Dylan manages to make out the following words: Vorkstag and Grinds Chemic Works. Can you? Uh, that? Could you type what? that out actually yeah. into the chat yeah. thing? That would be grand. Alright, no one's gonna just mutter under her breath that Polkstag and Grind's chemic works. Look over Matthias. Can I roll knowledge local to try to figure out what the hell that is? Sure. That's the goal. Oh! Hey! I Holy that. shit! Okay, you don't know shit, but Burb Glub knows that uh, Vorkstag and Grine are well-respected merchants. Grine is a peculiar-looking fellow, though gnomes are that way, you know? <laughs> I'm just reading it off, but... Hey. No workers are ever seen going on shift at their chemic works, but the smoke from the chimney never stops. And uh, Master Vorkstag has a great many friends in high places, and whenever any minor travel comes his way, someone is always ready to speak on his oh, behalf. Oh man, I could have rolled nobility for that, couldn't I? Essentially, no, it's just neurological. Oh. Um, the thing is, they are alchemists, they work in Lepidstadt, and uh, they are generally remarked as fairly odd. Well, so what's Verbal say? So it's like I... a factory, but with chemicals. The workers never let's, leave. Let's, in a way. Let's see what Burblub, what Burblub's take on the situation is, though. Hello, Burblub. Um, apparently, these are documents from, and I can't remember his name, Master Vorkstag and Grinds Chemic Works. Yeah, Master Vorkstag. Uh, it's some kind of uh, factory. They work with chemicals. Um, people think they're weird. Weird um, how? They're gnomes, and they don't seem to... Hey! Oh, okay. Grine is a gnome, rather. And uh, nobody well, has ever seen leaving their chemic works. Yeah. No other than seems... Vorksteg or Grine. No one seems to go in and out with the two people. Now that's weird. I might mm. say, so are they funny haha -ha or funny weird? Yes. Funny weird. No, there's okay. still the hole, if you want to check the hole out. We'll not ask them for stand-up. Uh, we'll not ask for them for stand-up if we run across them. I, I yell at the rest of the party, there's still a hole we haven't checked out. A hole? Yeah, a whole hole. An entire hole? An ent yes, an entire hole. <laughs> not a half? Yeah, no, it's not a half hole. 
How deep is it? It's a stone-walled shaft. Oh. Uh, it appears to be made of stone. The walls, it's, it's stone. Oh, so it's a well. Um, maybe. Well, drop a torch down or a sunrod. All right, um, can I light a torch and drop it down there? Sure. All right, Let's all I, walk over I, I the hole together. I, I light a torch mm -hmm. and drop it down. You drop it down, roll perception. We walk, we walk over the hole. Walk over the hole. Okay, okay the two of you oh. by there, roll perception. Zinche, roll perception. Well, I'm over there too. I was talking to him about it. Put your token over there. And if he's over there, then Dylan is nearby. Always. Is anybody else following? Oh. Certainly. Oh, 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 graves. Oh. Prefer to oh. stick with a group. I just want to see. Just a second. I want to see. So you're gonna go with them. This up or not? Oh, so Zinche, when it gets uh, dropped, you hear some skittering sounds. Yeah. I didn't hear nothing. Yeah. You suspect there's. You suspect uh, it drop. Okay, so first of all, it drops down. It seems to be about 15 feet deep, and you hear what sounds like skittering sounds. You suspect there might be something down there. Matthew yeah, didn't hear anything, so he's gonna say, "Is it bottomless?" No, there's a bottom, and yeah, it's probably um, a rope's worth down, and there's probably something. In Fifteen there, feet, not down. fifty feet. Fifteen. Fifty feet of rope. You know what? Fifteen. Fifteen is. A um. Let's <laughs> were... say this quickly. I'm sorry. Oh no, you can go first. Call him. I don't know. You're you're closest as well. All right, you're worth X, Matthias. If you could hold a rope while I climb down there. Down there. Uh, Matthias yeah, is going to give a bit of a grunt and then look at his armor and say, "Yeah, that's probably yeah, that's for probably. the best." You might want to stealth. All right, I'll roll old stealth while going down, yeah. while climbing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, roll the rope to Matthias's penis. Oh man, he's the wall. He uh, he is the well. You stealthily slide down the rope and uh, roll perception. Smashed it. Oh. He sees all. He becomes one with the well. He is well incarnate. Yet you notice four ghasts. Um, ghasts. Can I rapidly climb my way up? Roll stealth as you do that. Stealth. Yeah. And roll climb. Alright. Stealth. <sighs> climb. Came before he. Oh man. Yes. Smooth operator. Operator. Yeah, you you slide back up. I slide back up. <laughs> what's in, what's in the Did you see anything other than the ghasts down there per se? He saw the gas and oh, I'll describe the cellar. Um, it's the damp cellar, which uh, he was largely unscathed. There's a large, there's a pair of large water casts in the cellar, um, sitting beneath the entrance shaft. Um. So you you stood on those. Um, the cellar itself is some fifteen feet high and is a total mess. Okay, so I told the party there's ghasts. Ghasts, you said. Yes. Yeah, those are just they're, they're, they're a type of ghoul. They're undead. Yeah. Um, I don't want to go. Oh, there. and there was a ghastly trophy made of burnt heads dangling on chains from an iron iron candelabrum, um, in the ceiling near the shaft. Candelabrum. Yeah. Yes. Oh, um, there there was. There is this yeah. thing on and sorry, the 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 cellar itself is fifteen feet deep, but it's about a fifteen foot shaft as well, so it's a thirty foot drop altogether. So there's no jumping down there. No. Must be break for you. I don't have my uh, smite evil, so I, I can't do much against undead. It's not going to reach that far without you going down there. I tried um, to and drop all my drop spaghetti. Wait, wait, wait. You could all slide down one after another. But then I, Matthew, I, I can actually jump down, down, down there because I can glide. I just have to pass a DC 15 and I can fall from any. It's a narrow. It's only uh, two feet by two feet. Okay, so the whole. um, it, it the, the gas are they uh, are they weak to fire? Uh, roll knowledge religion. No, oh, I thought that'd be dungeoneering. Nope. What's weak to fire? The gas. Uh, no, but you were asking about its weaknesses. It doesn't have any sort of weakness, but it does have channel resistance. There's gas down there? Gas. Yes, there's, yes, there's gas down there. 
But it doesn't have corporeal. Matthias is going to add. They're essentially a nasty form of ghoul. They're very, very intelligent. Um, I'm going to see what Matthias uh, knows uh, about uh, this guy. Okay. No one's gonna step I thought you were saying gas. No one's going to step on and go, so could I channel to hurt them or... Because, you know, m no matter. That was a knowledge. That was a knowledge, and I think that uh... does Iowa's pass on pass on that information that uh, yes, channel would on. be ineffective. I passed on all of it. Okay, well, Matthias is going to. Uh, I'm going to see if Matthias knows uh, there any of its special abilities and uh, uh, just general abilities that it has with my knowledge religion. That one's going to do the same as well. No, I don't know shit. That one's the same as he did. Probably don't know shit either. You were in the church yet. I know more about it than you do. Okay, well, uh, Dilwyn knows a little bit. Um, she knows that uh, they have the ability to, uh, you know, cause ghoul fever. They can paralyze you with their natural attacks. And they have an over overwhelming stink of death that sickens. I am not going down there, I can tell you this right now. They won't just go you down. also know that they tend to hide during the day in their in their hovels while going out hunting at night. Um, hmm. Does Dylan, she pass this on? Uh, Dylan's gonna go ahead and go, Okay, well, they cause fever, paralyze, they could make us basically sick, and if we want a chance basically. to attack them, I suggest that we try to bring them out of the sunlight, because they go hunting at night. Alright, can I ask? For the record... For the record, um, if you waited till night, because the issue regarding uh, this particular, the sanctuary won't be brought up until the third day of the trial. It is currently the first day well, of the trial. there is one question that Matthias is going to ask. He's going to point down in the hole and say, if we had to climb down, how do they get out? They're ghosts. They float, I'm pretty sure. They are very good at climbing. It's probably a hidey hole for them. You want, um, can Laris make a little funny, like... They climb on top of the, the... The water casks are, like, ten feet tall. Oh, no, they climb on those, and then... No, yeah. Who yeah. wants to talk? Yeah. He's gonna say, uh, why do you guys just keep on using those sticks and torches all? I can just cast and light them, rock, and you can just throw it down there. Matthew's gonna give Larissius a look and say, why didn't you mention this earlier? Because you just go on things and I can't... Don't let me a chance to say anything. Be assertive, man! Oh well, well, Matthias is going to wave it off and say, we'll do that next time. Uh, yeah. Before looking to our, the guy that accompanied us to this point and say, I don't think we're going to find anything else until these nasties come out. So, uh, I think we'd best get these tools checked out back in, uh, Ab not Absalom. In, uh, shit, what was it called? Lepidstead. In Lepidstead. And uh, you can get to the trial. Yeah, Loris is just trying to make himself seem useful because he just feels like he's became obsolete now. Man, don't describe how you feel. We gotta figure that out through RFP. I know. You're ruining the fun. Immersions. Yeah. Immersions out of 10. Immersions out of 10. Broken. Shattered out of 20. Immersions broken. Please restart. Anyway, yeah, we gotta get the tools checked out and then we'll go present what we've got so far to the lawyer. Alright. Okay. The, the issue lawyer. of the, uh... Of the grave robbery is today, correct? Uh, the grave robbery and the murders in Morast. The one that Lasne is, uh... Yeah, so we need to get, uh, we need to poke around, and we need to figure out what these tools are for. And we also need to check out who the hell the, uh... I never got to check graves. The priest dude was. Oh yeah, he wanted to check the graves. Let's, let's They're just the graves. graves. Oh, okay. But yeah... There's a few things we need to handle. Uh, currently, we need to figure out who that brother dude is, because out of character we know, but in character we have no idea. Actually, no, we do know who he is, because of Burb Glove, I'm sorry. Can I, can I, can uh, I say something to the party? Well, I I'm trying to go over what, oh. we, what okay. we need to do first. Uh, we need to figure out what those tools are, and we need to ask around about that poacher, see if anyone else knows anything. Mm -hmm. And we need to look into the... Uh, grinding the, the, the chemic works. So, uh, yeah, now you can do your thing. I'm pretty, Mario, sure, I'm, night, you say. I'm pretty sure going down that hole and trying to fight those would have been a grave mistake. Matthias is going to give him another hit. 
Slap Everyone is going to roll another attack on him to hit him in the face. I was gonna say you're. You're gonna. You're, 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 we're, eventually, it's gonna start doing non-lethal damage. You know. Yeah, well, Loris is gonna grumble under his voice, saying, "You're even useless, right. more useless than me." Why'd you roll strength, Dylan? Uh, that was a glitch. Well, actually, a strength check is the same as a melee attack check. You just gotta add your base attack bonus, so that would be a sixteen. I'm gonna go with that one then. Oh, okay, what did I miss? Then the Zinches who actually made it hit you. Where did when did you leave? Um, when we were looking down the hole. Okay, they decided not to go down the hole. Good work. Yeah, because we, we don't feel like hole. dying right now. We, yeah, we don't feel like dying. You're right all in pretty bad shape, and none of you has spells left. No one has that. Yeah. Spell left. So it's not a good idea. Yeah, it's not a good idea to really go into any combat right so now. So first things first, Matthias is gonna say, "Let's find a healer before anything else." Uh, real quick, I can I do my thing? This motion. Get healed, get the get your con damage healed. Um, you recall that the uh, the circus is still set up in Leopardstadt, just outside. Yeah, let's go find them because they offer healing for free. Let's, yeah. go to the, let's, let's go to the circus. We helped them out, and they're grateful. Just limp or no go. Hey, we fucked ourselves up a little bit again. Help, please. We got fucked up again. Help. What was the ringmaster's name again? I don't remember. But he was such was a cool dude. Cornelius Fudge? No. Ah, uh, Caleb Hesse, with his big old close. red top hat. Um, he uh, he greets you warmly as you uh, go to the circus. It's uh, over there. My going to... the circus in D and D is not. Or wait, no, that's not the circus. It's a freak. It's outside show, of town. It it's a freak show. But uh, Mattis is going to rub, it, uh, rub his arm nervously and say, We got in a spot of trouble. Do you think we, we could bother you to give us a bit of healing again? <laughs> of course. Alright, well, we're gonna... Uh, and so you get your healing from ye old healer. We're gonna say she heals all your con damage. Everything is healed. Yay, I can go back to 30 health again. Because yeah, being forced to solve a murder mystery... Against oh, God. well, oh, you took con. Drain. You, you took con. You took, out, took con drain, or sorry, you took con damage from poison, didn't you? Hmm? Uh, Matthias? Uh, no. I I always had. A oh no! Oh yeah, you're just you're full I took health. The, remember, I took the restoration. Yeah. Potion of restoration, and then I was like, I'm good. Hatchy. <laughs> Seeing as I'm an Azamon, I don't need as long to sleep. Can I take a short nap and recover my spells? Um, you would need still about, I think it's six hours. Yeah, it's still way too long, and we would not, and the guy would, uh, we wouldn't be able to present our evidence concerning what's going on today. Cool, that's fine. Yeah, yeah like, you essentially you guys, I'm gonna say, you guys probably have enough evidence to at least delay the trial slightly. Yeah. While they reconsider the new evidence. We still need to look over the tools and find out what they are. That's that's yeah. before we go to the courthouse, that's the big deal. And then but we don't need to deal with the sanctuary today. Yeah. Uh, by the way, just because uh I, I wanted to do something earlier, uh just because it's funny I would have mentioned it and not really do it. I wanted to have Bum bite or bite him on the butt when everyone was smacking him. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Bum biter's his dog. Yeah, it's yeah. literally called Bumbiter. He called Bum his dog Bumbiter, and he always rides it. And it's morally questionable. <laughs> morally questionable. I love morally questionable things. Like hey, fox it. dog. It's a, fucking, it's a golden, <laughs> it's, it's a golden dog. dog. Yeah, no. it's a, the implication so, is that he fucks so his far, dog. So far, all we know for certain is that he's braided the dog's ass hairs, okay? Burb glove Please no. dog hard. I'm afraid that not many people would pay that much attention to something that most people aren't going to be staring at. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on. We're gonna. Uh, can we find? Can I show the tools to the healer and ask them if they know what the fuck they are? Says she's a healer, and thus will have heal. She doesn't know what they are. Shit. Well, I'm gonna say thanks anyway. Uh, do you know anyone else who might know what they are? Find a doctor, I'm guessing. They look like medical tools of some kind. Mm, Matt, Matthew's gonna nod a few times and say, I'll just, we'll just have to go look for a doctor then. Thank you. Yep. Out of character, um, this is Matt as well, put in before their embalming tools. 
<laughs> yeah. Google knowledge, knowledge, knowledge local to find where a doctor would be. Yes, you can do that. that all right, all right. Let's. We're gonna defer to Burb since he has the luck with all these fucking rules. Wait, what? What's what, what are we doing? They're trying to figure out where they could find out what kind of tools they are. We're finding a doctor, probably, maybe, unless we get something else because flavor. So, Burb, roll you- oh, you did. 26. So, Hatchy, where can we find out where the hell- what the hell these things are? Um, give me one sec. I love that there's, like, that hick following us around the whole time, like, I think you'll think it's a beast, but this shit's weird. Yeah. Wait, he followed with us? Yeah, he's been accompanying us until he has to go to the courthouse. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I wonder, no, 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 I wonder, does he snicker at this freak show? Does he enjoy the freak show? You know that most of the doctors operate, uh, or at least the place you would probably be able to get information about this, is where such tools might be made at the surgeon's flats. Alright, well, let's go there. Wherever that is. Yes. Is that near the university or no? No, it's right there. It disappeared. I can't see it. Can't see it. Oh, oh there it is. There it is. So you guys make your way over there. Why are you saying damn it? He's not in here. I'm back. That's why. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, that's why he was saying damn it. It just, it just fucking here. kicked me for some reason. The connection. Why did my brain is on the surgeon's flats? You are going to the surgeon's flats because we want to figure out what the fuck this shit is. Okay. Fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know fucking I cut you! I'll have you know I graduated top of my class. Oh fuck! I can't. Top I can't do it. School? Yeah, I was trying to. I was trying to make one for paladins. I you know that I graduated top of my class. Paladins. Paladins. Top of your regiment. Top of my class at class. Uh, paladins don't operate in regiments, generally speaking, unless there's something big going on. They're generally either alone or as part of an army. We need more circles. Anyway, anyway what, happens what, happens what happens when we go there? You just go there. What do we find? Do we find a doctor's place? Do you look for one? I assume we do. That's why we went there. Well, I assume someone's mic. Bird. No, we just stand there and then we wander around aimlessly for three hours. I, I assume that bird went into the area and then just kind of stared off into space, like, "Okay, I found the place, but I know nothing else." Your, you guys turn. I'm going to go to the nearest building and look at it to see if it's possibly a doctor's place. It's a doctor's place. Okay, okay. I'm gonna... Is it a shop? Or rather, or it's a craftsman's place? place where they make doctor's tools. I Well, I'm going in. Excellent. Alright, I'm following. I'm, I'm gonna, following. gonna have to have Iska follow because uh, she has I'm the shit that we need. I have it, yeah. We're all going into the store. Yeah. Eight people, <laughs> eight yeah, people standing around eight in armor. People, yeah, eight people standing around in armor feels like a holdup. Um, it is a holdup. Well, a, I'm not wearing armor. Something with robes. Yeah, some people well, here. They're robes. obviously a party of warriors of some sort. It would make people nervous. But that's again, that's that's beside the point. That's beside the point. I'm we go. Barbaric war. Wow, wow. Please, please, let's move on with the game. <laughs> I would like to, to lighten the mood. <laughs> Any case, um, Matthias is going to go to the nearest desk, receptionist, what be, and, uh, and, uh, hope that someone's standing there? There's someone's a guy. There? Okay, well, Matthias is gonna, uh, introduce himself to the guy, that he's, uh, he's, uh, investigating some goings-on in the area around, and he needs to know what, uh, these set of tools are, and he's going to motion Iska over, obviously. He looks at them briefly and says, These are surgeon's tools. They're very fine make. Hmm. But is there anything... kind of face yes. removing. Fa face removing? He raises his eyebrows at oh, you. No. Here it comes. I, 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 I whisper over to Burb, but I think that would be a better question to ask a doctor. Matthias is going to rub his temples as Iska pulls out the face. Oh, God. Just 
No, Show I the can't doctor. See my Clearly, he would know if it was used with these tools. It's in his pocket. Her. Her. It's in your pocket. You pulled out the face. Yeah, I didn't pull it out. I'm just stretching it with one hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> and smiling. You're, dis- you're disfiguring the fucking face. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Anyway, uh, Matthias is going to rub his temples for a second before letting out a sigh and saying, uh, th- there was an incident that we're looking into. It's best if you don't know anything that you don't ask. Harry, what the hell is that? So, what is- do you want to know about them? Um, can you tell us where they came from? Yeah, can you tell us where they came from? Is there any way of knowing who made them? He examines it briefly. And he's like, ah, I recognize this symbol. Uh, Zavril Sla- I cannot pronounce that. I'll just copy it into the thing. Uh, so-and-so, who have a workshop on the t- in the tiny at- anatomist's alley. Oh, could you point us to that direction? Uh, direction? It's down the street and around the corner. Alright, um, uh, Matthias is going to- th- Well, Matthias is going to thank the man and, uh, He's going to retrieve the tools and say, uh, well, thank you for your help. Uh, you'll, you've, you've, you've been very enlightening. I see. I'll he nods. This is some anatomist's alley. Oh, in- and, in- uh, <laughs> unless someone wants to banter with the shopkeep, we're going. we're going. Yeah, I, I see that, I see that Ali has yes. added deliterative appeal. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let Bumbiter do his thing. <laughs> he, uh, I point him at his butt and usher him forward, see if he bites his butt. What do we gotta roll for that? Roll bum biter's butt bite attack. <laughs> butt uh, bite attack. <laughs> it's a special <laughs> attack that bum biter gets, which bites them on the bum. Butt bite. Actually, I think I have his attack roll. Hold on. You should have a PDF of him. Yes, I do. I just have to get to the folder. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus. Illuminati Sweet, confirmed. That diamond Is this confirmed. A double Illuminati? Illuminati. Right. Oh, right triangle confirmed. A- acute triangle. I think that's an acute it's triangle. More triangles. It's a diagonal look at a pyramid. Illuminati confirmed again. Freemasons confirmed. That looks like a uh, compass. Huh. Oh, that's a kawaii ass triangle. That's a cute triangle. Illuminati c- compass confirmed. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, yeah. It, um, what Does that hit you? You're flat-footed. Did that? Does that hit your flat-footed AC? Uh, cool name. Oh, uh, it's it, it starts with a not a one, so uh, no. Th- no, that does hit me. Yeah, that does hit you. Okay. Um, roll damage. <laughs> Non-lethal, I hope. Lethal. Oh, rip! You got bit on the bum. <laughs> roll, roll your dog's bite damage. Burp club. All right, let's see. <laughs> now, oh whenever uh, Cool Name goes to sit down, he needs to describe how painful it is to be sitting. Also, we'll have to bandage his ass. <laughs> I can bandage my own ass. To do a heel check. To bandage his ass. You could cure light wounds as well. Stay far away from his ass. He takes oh, four you. ass damage. Right, can I draw my rapier and point the point at the dog? Yeah. You His can. Alright, I draw my rapier and point at, point at whatever bit me from behind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. Matsy's just laughs. Dylan's gonna pull out a bandage and perfectly pan- bandage his ass. Perfectly. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So it'll heal. Bandage. He'll heal back to full health overnight. Okay. If and he, he rests. Also gets a little bow on the end of it. Or if you guys sleep through the day and then go back to the sanctuary, I don't know what you're planning to do. Uh, we need to go. We're we're gonna go to the anatomist Sally once we're done dicking about. Yeah. I was just gonna say this is worse than when I lost my ear. <laughs> <laughs> you still don't have your ear. You still don't have your ear, and I still don't. Uh, I still don't have my pinky. 
What happened yeah, to no, your body yeah. parts? <laughs> Teleportation. Teleportation mishap. Darwin's still yeah. missing an undescribed internal organ. Oh, Look at this is... We clearly not essential, Sam. Oh, I was like, gonna draw a little yet. Anyway, can we please stop? We're gonna be moving on now. Actually, yeah, can I let's stop go. The market? That's the bow on his back. We're going to the anatomist alley, and let's go. Okay, so you guys go up to Zabroslav or eh? his uh, his workshop. Zabroslav, Ora, and Sons. Whatever. Uh, he's a bookish, taciturn man who wears thick spectacles, and uh, yeah, you're in his workshop. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna... Motion for Iska to put the tools down uh, on the table and ask. Uh, we need to ask you about a uh, set of tools we've come across. Hmm. What did you want to know about them? Did you well, sell them? Who? What? Who did she? Who did he sell them to? Yeah. Do you, yeah does he know who they sold? Who he sold it to? Um. Yes. I can. I can check that. Uh. He. He opens up his ledger, and he's like, uh, Vladka Kostel. She was a, uh, red-haired woman who likes to wear a green silk scarf. Uh, she works for an auction house, but I don't remember which one. She sounds cute. cute. Matt <laughs> gives a wide <laughs> grin at this. Uh, also, could you type that out? Because all these names... Just her name. God damn it. Matt 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 is going to give a wide grin at this, because now we have a suspect. And uh, Matthias well, claps his hands. Yes, yeah, someone probably bought it from the auction house. Matthias claps his hands and says, "Perfect, thank you." Uh, is there anything else you can tell us about them? They're very fine make. I mean, I would know. I made them myself, but uh, no, I'm actually surprised to see these. Uh, can I ask if he th if uh, he's biased towards his own goods? You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh. Matthias is going to give a glare back to uh, Iowerth and say, Can we please stop antagonizing everyone that we question? It was a simple question! You f and I'm- Lars is gonna say, You fucking half-elf. Half-elf. <laughs> oh, 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 racism. Oh. Excuse me, sir, but I'm a half-elf. Oh. I'm sorry if I'm getting sick of this guy. Uh, Burr yeah, would like sorry. to speak up and, and apologize and say, uh, can can you please uh, assist us just a little, a little further? Uh, we'll we'll try to not be so offensive anymore. Um, would and I look at the, I apologize. I keep forgetting the name, the gnome. I look over at the gnome Iska. and say, can yeah, Iska, and I say, Iska, can you get the face out and ask him if he thinks that the face was cut off with these tools. I grin widely, and I pull out the thing. He, uh, there's no real, uh, expression across his face. He barely reacts at the sight of them. I mean, he works in, he works in medicine. This is an... He knows this shit. He, and it's Ustalov, so this kind of thing isn't that, that unusual. Dismembered body parts and so forth. So he looks at any, he, he picks up one of the knives and he's like, I don't know if this knife specifically would have made these incisions, but could possibly it, it definitely could have. Matthews right, gives you. another wide grin and says, thank you very much. And he's uh, going to hold out his hand to shake uh, the doctor's hand eagerly. Like, thank you. He looks at your hand and then looks back at you. Oh... Well, Matthias withdraws his hand and, and uh, shoves it in one of his pockets and says, Thank you very much, you've been very helpful. I put away the, uh, the face and I say, Can you point us towards where most of the, uh, is there like a section of town where the auction houses are? Uh, you'd probably have to ask around, they're all over. You'll probably be able to find out which one she works at. Uh, what time is it about now? In the game? Yeah. yeah. Like noon? Noon? Uh, what about when the court shit start? Very, very, very soon. Alright, well, uh, bearing that in mind, Matthias gives a bit of a clap once they leave and says... Like in an hour. Yeah, it's like, uh... And says, is there anything else that we need to handle right now? Uh, I was gonna... Oh. Was you gonna could keep ahead. following this lead. 
He could. I'm just asking if there's anything else that yeah. we need to do right now. We could could we follow the lead within the less than an hour? Probably. Um, Probably. Or, you oh, know, if we don't want to risk it, we could... Actually, wait. To ask around, it takes an hour to make that check. I would yeah, actually so like to do knowledge local. Okay, you make knowledge local. I mean, um... Since squawks. Yeah, I just want to, I want to put this out here. We do have eight people in the party. We could very easily split up, have some people... Go wow, you know that Vladka Kostel um, works at... Uh, where is it called? Um, Lidov's Chirurgery Merchants. Fucking Burb knows Burb everything knows about, everything this, about place. this place. All right, well, there. technically, knowledge local is we listening up to local. things. I'm just really good at listening. Can I just say that what uh, Hansel suggested is a good idea? Because we're an eight people party, we could split up again. Well, no, we're not doing that because he knows and he told us. So you guys can just continue to follow the lead without taking yep. too much time. We're gonna go there quickly though because we need to get this done now. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I ask uh, the paladin if we could stop by the market at some point. After we're done at the courthouse, sure. And then you guys might want to sleep. <laughs> that <Yeah>. too. <laughs> Just pass out on a bench somewhere. Well, we could get an in. Please stop drawing. Then, it's making it difficult to understand before, what the fuck's going on. Listen, by the end of this, Burb is literally just going to buy the whole fucking inn so that we can sleep in it. <laughs> You're not having. You don't have enough. That's to do that's that. like fifty thousand gold. Oh. You do not have nearly enough money. And then you have to deal with the uh, ledgers, like legit- and local taxes. There is right, legitimately wait, 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 shit in place joke. to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Ownership. Don't worry about it, Frog. Awful. It is pretty awful, not gonna it's lie. Horrible. <laughs> you legitimately need someone who knows how to manage finances in real life to manage finances in the game. Yeah. Anyways, um so yeah. You know where the auction house is. We're gonna go there fast. What happens? Do we go to I don't the have the I don't even know where it is. Oh dun, dun, dun. well we don't know need to know where it is on the map, we're just gonna go there. Yeah. I cover my eyes and enter the nearest door. Is Please. It the right one? No, we know exactly where she works. Yeah, you guys wander into it. You guys wander over to it. You get there. So you're at the auction house. Go inside. And uh, there is a stuffy, pretentious appearing man, bald head with tufts of hair above his ears, at, uh, at the front. All right, well, uh, Matthias is going to give everyone a look that says, uh, let me do the talking, and uh, walks up and clears his throat to get the man's attention. Hmm? What, is, what does the man do? He looks at you. All right, well, uh, And Matthias... sniffs. Oh. It's derisively. That bitch. Oh, well, Matthias is going to take this insult and uh, ignore it. And uh, ask politely, well, he's going to introduce himself as Matthias, and that he's investigating goings-on, and uh, he's going to ask if uh, there's a Vladka Kostel uh, anywhere on the premises. Could you describe her? Hmm. Do we know what she looks like? Red hair likes wearing green silk scarf. Yeah, uh, red hair likes wearing whatever that was you said. Hmm, make it DC, or make it Diplomacy. Black. I got this. Mm, Listen, you're not really the type of person I would release this sort of information to. Matthews is going to sigh and look to Burp Glove and say, how much money do you have? (laughs) I could try to buff his Diplomacy. You could try to lie to him, or trick Somebody him, or intimidate him. Dylan has intimidate a him. Dylan has a well, I could try story. again, but it gets harder and harder the more that I use diplomacy on him. Can't I use a support diplomacy? I have plus five on diplomacy. Is it my turn to diplomacy? You wouldn't be able to assist him. In any case, how about, how about, how about I, uh... Guys. Take out two platinum and hand them to the paladin. Two platinum. Twenty gold, yeah. It's not enough of a bribe to help. Well, he's just going to look at the coins, sigh, put them down on the table, and then uh, once again say, it's imperative that uh, we 
that we speak to her uh, very quickly. It's uh, of great urgence. Diplomacy. Again. Hang on, checking what bribes do. By the way, I did the two platinum because of uh, Burb being not having a lot of wisdom. He'd think that <laughs> that'd be the proper amount, even though it's too much. It's actually depending on uh, what class of town you're. Yeah, in. you're able to figure. He, you're able to convince him to release said information. Right. He says, uh, "The buyer, well." What exactly is the information you're looking to ask her? She's not here at the moment. Uh, he's gonna well, tap his... <sighs> I'm sorry, what did she say? Because I didn't hear a word. Who bought the so tools? Your... Who bought the tools, yeah. Um... Uh, is going to uh, nod at Iska and say, uh, We were told that, uh, sh that uh, she had bought a set of surgeon's tools. Yes, um... And he looks through his ledger for a moment. He's like, they were bought by a shopkeeper called Radnish. He works in the sur surgeon's flats. Matthias is going to nod a few times and give a grin and uh, ask, would you know where in the surgeon's flats? Knowledge local. He, do he, he doesn't know the location, he just has the listing. Okay, then you could say that he doesn't, because that he was doesn't. my question. All right. Well, he's gonna thank the man anyway, and uh, um, a bit of a bowing nod before uh, turning about and heading back, uh, back out at a brisk pace because we gotta hurry, son. While we're heading over there, shall I knowledge local? Okay. It's at this point we're probably running out of time. We probably do actually need to split up, gang. At this point. No. no because we're nope. To not yet. Like Twelve thirty. You guys are still in the same area. You haven't really left the area of the surgeon's flats and then no, we're, we're just gonna Cuz uh, again, it's an auction house that specifically deals in medical tools, so it would be in that area in the surgeon's flats. Knowledge local, does he know? The goblin knows he knows where everything. it is. The Jesus goblin. Christ, he knows all the rumors. Guys, I think the goblin is like What is the guy's name god? again? I think he's like the ultimate god in disguise. He just came down as a goblin to fuck with people's brains. Mm. Pretty much. <laughs> That's what's going on, he knows all and sees all. Hachi, how do you spell the guy's name that he said? Radnish. Like rad. And like radish with an, in, with an N in it? Okay. Yeah, that's a. It's vaguely Indian, I think. Radnish, you could say he's into some pretty cool obscurities. Shut the fuck up. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay though. He <laughs> like, he like oh my there, god. I just got that. Yeah! Anyway, we find his place. Uh, is, does it look like anyone's home? Or what did we stand um, What's the scene? you are in front of a sh medical shop. Okay. Uh, get on in then. Radnish's cramped shop is piled with skeletons, pickled things in jars, and all chemical components. Is there a man there? There is Radnish. Well, he's a striking fellow, very dapper and black from head to toe. Who's yeah? What's his demeanor like currently? Snooty. Snooty? Oh. I was about to say everyone Snoot. rolled old shaves, because I mean, that <laughs> that uh, Snooty? Nah. <laughs> nah. He seems snooty. Okay, well, time to flatter him. Uh, Matthias is going to stride up to the counter confidently and uh, give a big grin and say, uh, Hello, you're, you're Red Niche, the one I heard about, right? Hold on, first, before anything else happens, I just gotta say, Sims 4, you know, new... Emotions. Emotions. Next gen. Next gen emotions. more emotions happening right now. Next okay. gen feels. Um, but yeah. He, he, he said you're the red niche, the one we've uh, been told about. You were told about me? Why, I mean, my shop is very well known. <laughs> Matthias is going to try not to chuckle under his breath and uh, nod and say, yes, yes, uh, we heard about you at the auction house. Uh, we're, we're just asking around about uh, some oddities that we've run into. Uh, we found a set of tools, and we were told they're yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I sold these. Uh, could you tell us to who? 
Perhaps a purchase might convince me to reveal that information. Time to look back to Burv and Burf, say, you're up. You're up. All right. Um, do I have to roll perception or can I just look around the shop? You can look around the shop. There's a lot of medical oddities. You could buy a skeleton. <laughs> you can't buy I a skeleton. I want a skeleton. Give me a skeleton. God damn it. You could buy a little gnome skeleton. An entire skeleton. A wife for Jeffrey. It's a wife for Jeffrey, yes. Actually, I have an idea. I would like to... What's Burp doing? Um, I'd let the gnome go first, but uh, I want to make some kind of arrangement with the skull that I... Or the head that I took earlier, so you go first. Oh. Oh. Since she's actually purchasing something, I'm just making an arrangement. Oh, you want to buy a skull? No, Twenty no, gold. Hang on. Yeah, let her do her thing first. <laughs> you want to have I him have... shave? I have six gold. I think I'm okay. Lag. 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 Okay, we're good. Um, what did you say, Anna? I do not have 20 gold, I have 6. Oh. I can share some money. Can I have a skull, please? I want a skull. So how much is it for a skull again? 20 gold or 2 platinum. Uh, yeah. I'll give up 2 platinum for the skull, and also while I'm getting the money out, uh, she asked for a skull and I decided to pay for it. Um, I'm taking out two platinum to pay for the skull, and while I'm doing that, I'd also like to pull out the manticore head, and I'd like to uh, show that to them and say, and what do you think of this? Do you think that your customers might be interested in this? It's not that old. In the head? Though. Like, you know, you oh. preserve it from out the jar. He's not, he's not, an, he's not a uh, taxidermist. Well, it's not about taxidermy, you just put it... It's in just in. for study. Okay. He's like, I might be able to pickle this. I mean, <laughs> manticore. It's interesting. Um, how much did you want for it? Alright, do I have to do a praise? Uh... On a head? It's more... Sure, roll a praise. Just leave it to barter for the skull for free. How about the information? Yeah, you could offer to trade the head for the skull. Yeah, let's do that. He head takes the, it. Head the skull and the he, he he takes the deal. So this is a surgeon's shop, too, right? Or is it yep. a medical store? Well, it's a uh, he sells all kinds of medical crap. Does he sell? So, he he sells you? cadavers and uh, objects for study, weird alchemical mixtures, etc. What kind Can of I? alchemical mixtures specifically? Medicines and such. Hang on a second. Acid. Example. Oh. Acid. Uh, I think a bit of acid would be just just straight up acid would be useful. Yeah, that one's He's gonna learned his acid. lesson from the box. That one's gonna <laughs> You're gonna buy some acid? Yeah, that one's gonna buy some acid. How about the They've information that we're... Okay, box. yeah, we have you to make a purchase though, and everyone wants to purchase shit, so we're purchasing shit. Okay, so acid, a single flask of acid is ten gold. That one's gonna buy a flask of acid. Hopefully with Bert's okay. money, because he's loaded. No, Dylan's got enough. I'm more, I'm, I'm more loaded than he is. Dylan's got enough money, for once. <laughs> We're fucking broke, and you guys are like, I've got so much money. Actually, Where I forgot to. my money. I forgot to do Burn this last with time. My money. Let me, let me go. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand the paladin seventy gold pieces or platinum pieces. Whoa, seventy platinum pieces, seven hundred gold. Yep. Matthias is going to give a look and say, Why? I have spares. Might as well invest. So you just give it to the plat? <laughs> you just gave that. That one's just gonna look over. That one's just gonna look okay. over. Look at the pal and go, Can I borrow some? You know, at one point, this was about a murder mystery. Guess that's not the topic of conversation anymore. <laughs> I would like to know who you sold these to. I point out the medical. Please. After we're done with our purchases and shit. Roll diplomacy, Iska. Okay. No, wait, um, can... I don't know, like, if, if you guys agree with this, can, like, Larissa just be like, 
he's sick and he just walks up to like kind of like looking angry he's like can I do an, imit- an intimidate please stop trying to intimidate if the, di- if the diplomacy fails, fails you can attempt to intimidate him it might I not be the best option 14. Though. you failed well uh... he's like uh do it, can Dylan support it what you promised well he smiles uh, Matthew is- can I make Matthew have a um, shot before sparkling goes yeah well, let's let Sparklin intimidate. Go ahead. Then we're not going to be able to do anything. Let's Sparklin intimidate. Yeah. Because he's can like, I he's just like, okay, I'm gonna yes, you can. Basically saying, I've had enough of this. We've been walking around this goddamn town all over the place. Okay. He's basically like, you know, yeah. like, just Rant saying, And Rant what does Dem say to assist? Holy shit. Okay, well, what does Dem say to assist? So, what does Burb say to, to assist? Um... Or does he just glare angrily? Yeah? On top of his dog. Yeah, he, he stands up on top of his dog and he glares angrily and says what he said. He's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Master Vorksteg from Vorksteg and Grind's Kimmick Works. He bought them. Really? Oh. Really? Matisse is going to give another oh. wide grin and uh, say... Thank you very much before heading out, before the guy decides that uh, he doesn't like us very much. <laughs> uh, what time is it now? Wait, it, my internet cut out. We have what, to get going to the, the last, courthouse for sure at this point. Alright. I say? said thank you and made a joke. No, what, what did the shopkeep say? Nothing. It was sold at Vorkstegen Grind's Kimmick Works. Or to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, my internet cut out for a moment. Alright. So, so this is what the tools went through. They were made, auction house, sold the red niche, and then sold to the Kinnick Works. Yep. That's quite the fucking line. It's they normal. Made, they were made at, uh, Horace, uh, Zabrav's lab. They were made at a workshop, Zabrav's sold to an auction house. house. The auctions... Should, should we be merchant, which went to red niche, which then went to work stag and grind. Well, we don't so have any more time, that. honestly, to bumble about. We need to get to the uh, court and present our shit. Oh! Now we go to the court! Maybe. Yeah, now that we've chased down our lead? Yeah! Let's... Okay. The whole time the Hick has been hanging out, he suspects Vorksteg. Hatchie? It's going to affect his testimony. Oh, Hatchie. okay. Well, then guess that works then. Hatchie, load up some Phoenix White music for us. What? Yeah, the, 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 the trial music. opening music. The trial opening I'm music. I'm gonna be honest, I've just been listening to the Monty Python intermission theme this whole time. This is important shit! We just tracked down a very heavy suspect. This wasn't like we're bumbling about. I don't remember which track that was. That's a money. We also begins. got someone that's gonna give testimony, and we basically gave him, like, Law & Order, bias. like, the, the best thing ever, like, Law & Order episode. <laughs> For a hick. Just, I'm making a joke. We, we no. gave him a massive bias towards us. Yeah. Even what if he mean, is still kind of a dick. What I mean is well, just, just imagine he's his perspective. Polite. Just imagine his perspective. You, you, you're you just a hick and you get picked up and all of a sudden you have this big adventure. It's, it's, it's you know, a big crime thing. It's like fucking Law and Order, man. Well, they don't have TV, so it's more like a play. It begins. Oh, it begins. Music is so quiet for me. I don't hear it at all. <laughs> Yeah, it's really quiet. You mind you mind cranking it up? Anyway, first things first, we're going to the courthouse and we're gonna try to find that lawyer before shit starts. And we have no vision. Oh god, there are see. eight people in here. We're <laughs> I don't think tokens are gonna to matter now unless we're gonna be in combat, so It's more just so that you all have sight. We go to the judge. No, we're. No. We're not gonna fight the judge, please. Maybe anyway, you aren't. Matthias is going to, uh. It, unless something with the lawyer happens when we enter. Does something with the lawyer happen when we enter? Our tokens might be here for a minute. I still. They were here last time. What happened? What? So give me a minute. I. Dylan's just 
Th thanks, Burr. I put Baron. on my robe and judge's wig. You know, you could get a disguise to look like a judge if you really wanted to. Powdered wig. Yeah, you just get a powdered wig and a fancy looking robe. I can't believe powdered wigs were actually in style at some point. Okay, so he says, so... Gustav greets you, and he states, um... So today they're going to be going over the crimes that took place in Morast. And, um, so avoid... That's a lot. She dumps a bunch of evidence on his desk. I mean, she's like, okay, make sure... Oh my god, that's a face. It's stretchy. Uh, Matthias is going to look back to Iska and then back to the lawyer and say... This is the person that, uh, the court, that, that you guys wanted to accompany us, yeah? This wasn't a mistake. Yes. She's reliable. Um. <laughs> Mantis gives a bit of a look to, in, of disbelief before shaking his head and, uh, clearing his throat and just reviewing everything that we know. Okay, so he says, okay, so regarding Herdsteg, they're not doing that one until tomorrow. So for today, you might want to focus on Morass. Um, we have you have very solid evidence regarding Herbstag. I think we can pretty much prove that the beast was innocent there. But uh, the pipes up. Morass, we don't have solid evidence. We're close. We have a very solid lead. You have a lot that's pointing to Vorkstag and Grind, but. It's not enough to convict, and it's not enough to uh, to prove his innocence, but it's enough to at least delay a verdict. Matthias gives a bit of a fist pump of uh, of success. He's happy that this worked. Now, if 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 you <laughs> yes, um, and if you if you. High five, Dylan, please. Dylan, high five, spot. Spaghetti flows everywhere. Anyway, what was the lawyer saying? Hatchy? Huh? What was the lawyer saying? He's like, no. The trial has already been delayed slightly as our, uh, as the witness has only just arrived. We are about to start. And they're making a special exception. Ordinarily, they wouldn't allow evidence to be submitted before, after 10 a.m., as the proceedings tend to be very steeped in traditions. But uh, they're making an exception here due to the witness arriving late. Um, however, <laughs> um, I'm going to need to call upon the lot of you to speak and present the evidence during the trial. And Gives a pat to his chest and say, hey, uh, you can count on me. Don't Indeed, I believe I can. Sweat Good thing Mantis can talk his way out of, out, of, out, of, out of fucking anything. He's got a plus 11 to diplomacy. I warn you all right now, Zinche will squawk. There was a fucking face! He it will do it! Out. Yep, and you're gonna ruin all of our chances to be taken seriously. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Yeah, our, the, the, as soon as it if you single-handedly sink our fucking campaign, <laughs> Metagrudge, never working with you people again. <laughs> In any case, uh, Matthias says he can count on me, and uh, then he said his thing. What happens next? Oh god, you moved the map! You moved the map! I know, I know. Everyone is shook, shaking onto the ground. It was an earthquake. There we go. It was an earthquake. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what what what, what 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 does he do after that point? Are we standing here like awkwardly, or what's going on? You were standing there awkwardly. I'm just on kidding. The edge. Um, the uh, he's like, okay, so now I'm gonna ask, have to ask all of you to remain in this rather cramped room. During the proceedings until I call upon you. Well, I'm near the door, so uh, I'm, I'm going to lean up against uh, the door frame. I'm going to sit on the desk and play with my new skull. Dylan's going to sit down in this chair and look somewhat nervous. <laughs> Sweats nervously. Can I, can I repeatedly pull the 
pull the string on my bow? <laughs> no, you can't. I have to pee. Oh. When he gets back, can you tell him that I have to do something and I also have to pee? That's why I'm asking if you guys could let him know. Thank no, you, we're please. not gonna let. We're not gonna tell him, and we're gonna continue without you. He's always typing in the chat things that when he goes back, we can say just read the chat. He's already done it. Yeah, he has. Oh, no, he's not already Repeatedly it. draws the bowstring back and releases it. I just think it's amusing that uh, Cool Name asks stuff like, "Am I able I to know. speak?" Yeah, it, it's, 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 just, it's just, it's just, it's just the way I learned D&D. <laughs> it's just amusing that you ask whether you're able to do simple things like speak or walk. He's can I drink asking water? For a, can I drink a water? Is all. And no, no, no. He's asking if he's able to, like, if it's possible, not if he can have a turn. If it's can possible because somebody ceiling. else isn't doing something at the moment, from No, no, no. But he, it will say something like, "It's your turn to go," and then he'll ask, "Can I do X?" It's just amusing to me that he puts it that way. I know he's just declaring it. It's amusing to me that it bothers you so. It, it, it's amusing to me because, I mean... <laughs> uh, How do you think they're actually saying in the role 20? Oh, because they're nerds and no, they don't... How? Oh, oh, slash uh, me. Slash me? Oh. Yeah, that... Oh, this Phoenix like music. So what are we waiting on? From the toyby. Oh, he had to squeeze his little bladder. Your worth rotates seventy <laughs> degrees clockwise. <laughs> the token is now rotated. Good work, Eor. Iowa. It's a Welsh name. More like ew. Victory poses. Oh damn it! <laughs> it's it's an inside. It's a sorta inside joke. The, the common writer was posing. What a surprise! Yeah. No one is yeah. still really unsure about the person. The first chance he gets, he's gonna go. Okay. What gives? Mate. Dayton, legit Dayton, practicing victory poses. He knows what's going on. Yeah. All right, nerds. Hatchy, do I pass my perception check on Zarma? I want to see if he's in his brain at the point time. I know he is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, the lawyer took the evidence, you nerd. Damn. No, that's her personal skull that I bought Jesus, for her. Jesus, what are you doing? No, no, the face. The face was taken by the lawyer. It's evidence. Oh, I thought it said lift her face to the skull. Makes his finger on it. She, she unzips her face and puts it on the skull. So I'm just going to explain to you the mechanics of this. Basically, you're going to be called upon to, make, to present pieces of evidence wherein you will make a modified diplomacy check, depending on the quality of the evidence. And, uh... There is one thing. It may be possible to completely prove uh, innocence, or at least convince them of innocence, but uh, you don't have solid enough evidence to prove it, just straight up prove it. Nah, you, we would need to convince people, and even then we still have to cover the sanctuary next time. Yeah, and you will investigate for staying and grind, but you still have to, uh, you either have to delay a verdict today, or you have to uh, get them to p declare him innocent regarding Morast. Yeah, that is why I wanted to have Matthias say something uh, concerning what's going on. Matthias is going to say, This is important. T please, please take this as serious as you can. If we if we screw up here, it might be over. I'm balancing the can of rations yes, on my beak. Matthias is going to hang his head and say, We're doomed. I'm taking this seriously. No, I was talking to Zinch. What'd he do? He never takes anything seriously. We're doomed. We're doomed. That's okay, we have the goblin. Only one PC can make a diplomacy check regarding a specific piece of evidence. No other PCs can assist, because you okay. will be the only one on the stand. Well, Matthias is going to uh, ask, Do you mind if I'm the one talking? Go right ahead! Oh god! I mean, unless they start calling on us randomly. I have a plus 10 on diplomacy. I have plus 11. I have plus, I have plus 5. five. Jinx. 
I just I'm, lean over. I'm the smoothest talker of everyone here. That's why. That's why. I it might be better for you. I lean over to Mattias and say, "Remember to." So what's Burb Glub's? Uh... He's got plus ten. And Mattias has plus eleven. Okay, it might be. Slash. Okay. But yeah, uh, what, did, what, what did Zim say? Because I didn't hear, because, uh, oh. priority speaker. I leaned over to Mattias and I said, remember to mention the bite. Yeah, that's the bite. The bite? The bite. And you know how he, there wasn't, wasn't any scar on the front oh, column? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mattias gives gives a large nod. Well, Lasne's testimony is also going to be affected here. Yeah, because he definitely thinks that it's those other. He's in the prosecution's room at the moment. Can I just say, but I'm his testimony some... is leaning definitely. in the other direction. I'm getting some gifs needed for this. <laughs> I mean, the one guy that could testify to the fact that he was there is going to testify to the fact that he couldn't hmm. have been there because there's no scar. What kind of so knowledge would I good. roll? What kind Basically, of I roll? he's going to be really confused. Teachers, would that be nobility or would that be local? Uh, nobility. I'm gonna roll to see how much. But Gustav explains it all to you, anyways. I'm gonna see how much he knows to begin with, though. That's all. I don't know anything. Yeah, you don't know anything about court proceedings. This is your first time. Good thing I haven't explained to me then. Can I roll it? Sure. Yeah, once he enters, though, uh, once he returns, there is something that Matty. Burb Club is well versed in courtroom proceedings, possibly for having been convicted multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I love it. Good. I'm so happy. Well, oh, it's turn chat. Can I just when, ask? When... For people to what please up? look at the stream right now. I got a, I got a, a curry MMS. What is going on with the stream? I'm ready, boss. In any case, uh, does this bird oh. about this, about his criminal past? Hey, Bowser. Oh, dear. So long, gay Bowser. So long! But does, does, does Burb speak up about his criminal past and how much he knows? Um... Well, what exactly would I be knowing? Like... Just, you'd be well-versed, and he was, and, uh, Matthew, yeah. if there's any... Any hints or tips or anything important? Burb Club will be able to provide certain tips upon asking if you need them, and yeah. I will. I will. He will be a vessel for my words. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna ask Burb to accompany me, but not speak for me because you know, he won't be allowed on the stand with you. He tells you that. Ah, oh, rip. Uh, how would I? Okay. In any case, hmm. I'm, I'm, uh, Matthias is new to this, so he wouldn't know any questions to ask, and he had all the basics and what his role is. A clerk opens the door and uh, states, the trial is about to begin. All right, well, uh, Matthias is going to take his, he's going to uh, head out, uh, take his position, I guess. No one's gonna give him uh, you are current, you are being kept at the moment in the defense oh, we're room, there, we're but not. you can see through the window in the door. You can see the beast being led up the stairs by a trio of guards and being shackled to the chair. The large iron chair in the middle. He looks at you, and he looks like he's about to start laughing. Quote, unquote. I give him an encouraging smile. Oh Matthew, God, excuse, I... Matthew gives him a wide grin and two thumbs up. Uh, like, we've got this in the bag, buddy. Gives um, a fucking one. twat. Friendly wave. He looks hopeful. Can I uh, say one thing as they walk out of there? No, hmm? we're, we're cut off from them. We can just see this. Yeah, you're cut off from them. There's a closed door. No, what I mean is, uh, can I say before we, you know, before we do anything, can I say something to the group? Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, Burb... Uh, perks up and looks pretty happy and he says yeah there's a lot you can learn from uh, lawyers when you're when you're in court for nudity charges for what Matt is going to charges. turn slowly to uh, Burb hey, and say hey, hey, what? Listen, I was drunk just leave what me alone nudity? I, yeah public nudity he got drunk and got <laughs> ran around the naked right he got <laughs> <public> <laughs> multiple, multiple occasions, yeah, multiple occasions. 
he, he likes to drink a lot, strip naked, and fuck Okay, so while you guys are talking, you can hear Chief Justice Ambrose Card commences the proceedings by laying out the rules of the court in a lengthy speech interspersed with gong strikes by the Herald. Uh, she concludes her speech by announcing that the good people of Leopardstadt have suffered many acts of terror and barbarity at the hands of the Beast of Leopardstadt for many years, and that while the Beast is doubtless responsible for numerous murders, the prosecution will focus on three recent cases to prove the Beast's guilt during this trial. And so the, uh... Bitch, under my breath. And the, uh... There is heavy bias, but this is a neutral evil nation. Um... Open opening statements are made by Prosecutor Otto Heiger as he outlines the case. He alleges that the beast is responsible for the murder of ten people in the village of Morast a year ago, in addition to two other horrendous crimes that will be described as the trial continues. Uh, and then Barrister Gustav Kupla, Kop- Kople, uh the defense lawyer, uh, makes his case for the beast's innocence, a half-hearted attempt full of stutters and awkward pauses. <laughs> Uh, All the while being jeered and booed by the baying mob in the gallery. Good! Well, good thing Matthias has presence. And that takes about a half hour. Um, witnesses are then called. Uh, Otto first brings his three locals from Morast, uh, two young women and a man. Uh, the man... Uh, no, it's not the Hick. Uh, the trio describes the events as they saw them happen, that over a series of nights, the beast came to the village and took people away, that a trap was finally laid for the beast, and that the beast was driven into the swamp, and they assume the end they assumed killed. Otto then calls the village elder, Lasne, who led the mob and drove the beast off. Now, his testimony isn't quite is a little different. He confirms that all the events that they described did indeed take place. However, he states that having see- seen the beast here, and the beast that he had seen the night of, while there is a resemblance, they're not quite exactly the same. And that the beast he is seeing here does not have a scar, has no sign of scarring from the, uh... The, um... The what's it? From the uh, the blood, Karen. The bite. The bite. It does not. It did not leave any sort of scar. That gator bit him, and I don't see no scar. <laughs> and this uh, this invites several murmurs and a look of shock on the prosecutor's face. Hey guys, please the the role play while I'm listening. <laughs> Why? Now that big beard gave him a good boy on that shoulder, but I don't see no teeth marks. <laughs> it's perfect. Ten out of ten. <laughs> uh, okay. What happens then? Okay. Um, Gustav then calls um his first witness. He calls Matthias, whatever his last name is, to the stand. I had a last name for him. I don't think it's written down. Matthias Soler. Matthias Soler, yeah, his last name will actually be Soler. So, <laughs> you are called out to, uh, to speak. All right, and he process. asks you to, uh, first to present, um, hang on. For the record, the use of magic is completely forbidden. Um, I don't have any magic that can help, though. Be right back. Okay, now put Okay, so you have the tools. You have you the scar was already mentioned. Um you can point that out. Um there was the face, which seems odd. And if I ask about the uh the beast and the scar, I could mention the uh the flesh golem stuff. Yes. But uh what's the question they ask first? Um well he he asks first can you present the evidence regarding the surgeon's tools and uh, some of the stuff you found at the sanctuary that they both seem to point towards a alternate culprit? Matthias gives a large nod and a grin, and uh, he... I'm assuming that Iska gave what evidence... No, 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 wait. I just yeah, say what it is. the evidence is currently... It, it is laid out on the tables. Well, Matthias is going to point to the strong box that we arduously pried open and say, uh, well, we found this uh, buried in the rubble of the sanctuary. Uh, 
we pried it open, and an uh, associate of mine uh, managed to d- discern a few words out of it, which uh, were the Vorgstag and Grind Chemic works. Uh, as well, we found a set of surgeon's tools uh, in in uh, Morass in, in the Boneyard. As well, uh, we found several bits and bobs in a boat that was hidden uh, on the island, along with the... He's going to point to the face with a bit of a grimace and say, That, uh, which one of your witnesses already identified as a local poacher. And okay. he's going to... Uh... Roll for the first piece of evidence, roll diplomacy. Oh, I'm rolling diplomacy for all pieces of evidence? All three pieces. I Three rolls of diplomacy it is. Yeah, just roll it three times. In before, nat ones on all of them. Oh shit. Um. Oh, yeah, son. Okay, so on the first two, you succeed in convincing them that they are significant pieces of evidence. Um, and regarding the bite scar, that is based on the uh, the earlier testimony given as well. They conclude that indeed the beast was likely innocent in this case. Yep. In fact. However, it's not enough to convict anyone else, and the people still want something to point the finger at. So the verdict will be delayed until the true culprit is found, at least in the case of case of Morast. However, the trial will continue for the other cases. On okay, is there anything else that uh, I need to go over besides the three pieces of evidence that I pointed out? Because uh, I could point out the, the shit about the flesh golem, or we could leave it be for now. Oh yeah, and he's he he also points out. Uh, you also had some other evidence. Uh, there was cough the uh, the dark vision. Yep, the dark vision. Uh, Matthias is going to motion to the potion and say uh, the uh, another one of the associates that uh, we brought with us identified this as a dark vision potion. Our friend, he says, well, <laughs> giving a bit of a wink to the beast, uh, says, he is what you call a flesh golem. Uh, I'm certain some of you are familiar with that. Uh, he possesses dark vision naturally, just due to the nature of his creation. Do I need to roll diplomacy for this? Yes. Oh. All the while, the crowd is jeering at you. While the justices may have been somewhat convinced, the crowd still is still calling for the, the beast to be burned. Well, and they are all accusing you of being a liar and fabricating evidence. Do I have to roll a will save to maintain my composure? No. <laughs> well, Matthias is going to maintain his composure for now, and uh, he's going to turn to the person who's questioning him, and uh, in state uh, as well. Due to him being a flesh golem in this scenario, uh, it it also means that uh, due to the nature of his creation, it could be that uh, in some of these cases that he was the culprit, but not the mastermind. Uh, What I mean by this is, he can be controlled. uh, You might not no, no, don't wanna. Can you, ve- you get a veto that? Veto it. I'm just gonna say that uh, you've already confirmed that he was not present in Morast. Okay, okay, I'll forget that then. Uh, is there any other questions that they have for me then? Because I've gone over all the evidence relevant right now. Uh, no, they have no further questions for you, and they have. Uh, they are calling court recess until tomorrow, where they will go over any further evidence and possibly convict in the uh, case regarding Morast, as well as begin proceedings for Herbstock. All right. Uh, it is well, now 3 p.m. <laughs> Matthews is going to give a bit of a... Er, sorry, 5 p.m. Matthews is going to give a bit of a tired bow and say, uh, if there's nothing more, I very much like to get some rest. It's been a long night. Gustav waves you away into the 
right. defense chamber. Well, I'll head back into the defense chamber and lean back against the fucking door wall because tired as shit. So Mantius. He sits down. Wait, wait. Uh, Gustav sits down and sighs a massive sigh of relief. And he says that it's probably the first time a trial has ever gone at least kind of in my favor. <laughs> in a long time. Mantius gives a large chuckle and says, I do my best. Don't want to give us not just a bit of a proud smile. Is this guy still riding on my shoulders? If you want. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Yes. With yeah. my skull. His name With is Thomas. Yeah, this his name is Thomas. He named his. Is she crazy? I think she's legitimately chaotic crazy. She she's a native of, of Ustalav, so it's very possible. Fucking chaotic neutral is always chaotic crazy, always. Yes, but I'm harmless. Oh, oh yeah, it's harmless. Either chaotic it's crazy, crazy or a chaotic asshole. One of the two. Yeah, always one of the two. Chaotic neutral is you usually used to be. I'm an asshole and I'm going to fuck over everything. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, but I'm not a huge asshole. Well, you're a gnome, so it's it's it's, it's it makes sense. And uh, Zinche's also chaotic neutral, but he's or is he neutral? Neutral. Pure neutral. Okay. Hey, but top. I am adorable. Know, just so you know, right now, but top, there is a stream going on. If you wish to watch it, I can get you the link. But um, but you are like. Uh, it's in it's in the room description. Oh, yeah. IRL. It's in the room description. So yeah. Yep. Also, I was gonna make a similar comment to when Burp Club said "lol," but also for those yeah. of you guys who aren't watching this stream just then, I had been it's like just the whole time going. That was great. Time. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd doesn't like us, but at least the people in charge do. Oh, we're playing that back on so. Yeah, have a good sleep. Speaking of which, Matthias is going to say, is that all you need of us for today? Yes, now go get some sleep, uh, and I guess tonight, please, for the love of God, follow up on your lead regarding Merc's Day and Grind. You need to go there tonight. Matthias yes, gives sir. him a bit of a thumbs I up. Again. Please. No! Sleep till Brooklyn! No sleep till Brooklyn. Dylan nods and puts a hand over the Uh. Well, Matthias is just tired as fuck, so. I love Matthias hummus. Sleepy baby, ba baby, sleepy baby. Did, did, did you hear this character? I can't actually say that. I want your hummus, Hatchy. Please. Hatchy, do you see all the character development we were having? Uh, I missed a lot of it. Yeah, they were typing while I was busy doing the court shit. The yep. court shit was foreground, all that was background. Yep, we were, we were quietly having. I I well, regardless, having character development off is good because it develops the personalities of the characters, which can come out in gameplay. Yeah. In any case, now that that's done, Matsy's is gonna go fuck to bed. We know where that is. We don't have still, time right? to go to fuck to bed. Yeah, we Actually, do. Uh, we gotta uh, rest, son. It's 5 p.m. You have enough time to go sleep, and then it, it'll be roughly uh, midnight by the time you guys head out. To go follow up on the other. If they don't head out market. now, they might not be at the factory. They might have gone what? home. Yeah. We, they. Oh, Burb Glub knows they live there. Oh, Hi. well, you could have mentioned that earlier. I actually he did. He did. You weren't paying attention, but he did. I mean, they mentioned that they only ever and saw those two people coming, coming in and out, but no other employees. No, he mentioned that they sleep there. And he says, listen, you're going to want to get some rest. If, if if what we suspect about them is true, they may be violent. Matthias gives a long Great sigh violence! and say, our luck. I bounce uh, up what? and down a little on Iowa World's shoulders. No one's going to give her a bit of an odd look and go, well, let's crash them. Yep, let's go back to that inn that we better. were at before well, and fucking wait, go pass but... out. You were the mention that we should uh, head by the market first. Well, Why? you could go. Matthias waves a hand and says, "You go to the market. I'm going to bed." All right. Um, I know where the inn is. I'll just. Yeah, we're gonna rent Yellow's... another night each. I have seventy platinum now, so. Because I are you just gonna pay for it? Yeah, I'm gonna pay. Oh, for the inn or for the item? I'll pay for the inn. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh. I have seventy platinum. How how much would that cost total? Let me check. I have a, I have it bookmarked. 
So an in stay at a good inn is two gold each. So it'd be sixteen gold for the whole party. Okay, well I'm gonna I'll hand them the proper amount. That's two platinum, and I get uh, eight gold back, right? Yep. Does that include dinner? Yeah, it includes dinner. Okay. Do you guys want a menu? I can randomly generate one. No, we're just gonna assume that I ordered something off a menu and ate it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat some of that corn. (laughs) I'm going to remain on Iowa's shoulders this entire time. (laughs) <laughs> the Looks like you guys complain about together. all these strange <laughs> foreign dishes that I don't know what the fuck they are. Yeah, I'm shipping it now. I worth an Iska. I'm shipping it now. Please. What species yeah, well, well, I worth? Matthias goes to bed in the most generic fashion imaginable. <laughs> <laughs> I worth is a half elf. We we. He said he's shipping Iska and I worth. Weird. Oh. That functionally would not work. Yeah. <laughs> It, well, it I mean, could happen. I mean, they couldn't could. have children. I think we'll just stay friends. They couldn't have children, but... You could have something resembling a halfling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, aren't half-elves immortal? Not a halfling, but it looks like... Half-elves are not immortal. You could pass yeah, them off. Uh, in what? Uh, oh, infertile? They might be. Because they're, yeah, uh, I... they're a hybrid, and uh, hybrids can't reproduce. Perfect, I'm shipping it. That's that's why I said <laughs> that's why I suspected they wouldn't be able to have children. They can adopt. <laughs> sure they can. <laughs> We're not getting married, guys. We're just gonna be friends. So be friends considering an option that reminds me, I need to tell the story <laughs> because uh, Ish- actually apparently they aren't half elf or they aren't infertile. Oh okay, that's so they could have yeah, I figured as much. So, I've, so, I've heard of half elf breeding. So is there a such thing as a quarter elf then? Guys, good news. Uh, sure, but they're considered a freak. It's other, it's other, other half breeds like uh, half dwarves and so forth that tend to not really. <laughs> it's flop. Make any sense is that you're resisting the ship? The ship is sailing. The ship does not sail. Yeah, should I burn the it down? The ship is sailing. Yes, burn, burn it. it. Should I burn it down? Burn it. Bum, 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 bum. I can do it. My character was designed for this. He was designed to hit things Punch with the elements. Ship with fire. fire. Anyway, yeah. Ship Ed. your face with a fireplace. What is it that you wanted to go to the shops for there? Uh, I was cool going to pick up a few uh, special arrows. Um, one of them was the uh, is the uh, raining arrow, and uh, that's a hollow arrow full of holy water. No, oh, and Dillwyn can supply all the holy water. Well, no, they come filled. Yeah, but if she it, she could, if she wanted to, if you could craft it. If you could craft an arrow, yep. you could craft an arrow, a hollow arrow, she could fill it with holy water. You have fletching, so you could theoretically craft it for half the cost if you rolled well. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll just wait then. I, uh, yeah. yeah, I'll wait. Dillwyn is an alchemist, come back. Just you might want to buy it though, because we're short on time. But yeah, do it. It's possible. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll it takes time. I'll we'll buy like a stack of ten of them. Okay, I see me have the price up. Uh, let, let me f- pull it up in page. <laughs> so the most important note in my notes list is that the uh, that the beast is called friend. So what was it called? Raining uh, arrow. arrow. There's Nick. I don't see that. and that is important. It's, it's very important. pieces for one. Oh, that's pretty good. Cool. Oh, it's under martial ammunition. Okay. Yeah, one is 30 gold. Jeez. Well, yeah, it's filled with holy water. You yeah, will buy like five of them. Okay. He's got lots of dash. Loads of money. <laughs> Matthews was seriously like, I have nothing in my purse, and you're just able to give away 70 platinum. I, I, I turned into- That's useful against undead. Which it, we're it is, going to be fighting, yeah. and I have Smite Evil, which is great. It's so good. Alright. 300 gold pieces. Yep. I can one on one. Wait, that's if you buy 10, it's 300 gold. Oh, if you crap. buy 5, it's 150. Alright, so I have 155 gold pieces now. Alright. All right, that's good. All right, I'm done. You also have a silver hip flask. 
You could I sell could... it or you could keep it. You could pour your much... shit into it. No, how much? You could awful. appraise it. You have to appraise it. Oh. Uh, how old? old. This Roll is a break. And uh, other players have some other treasure, I believe. I just like, have a uh, master brick short sword. Somebody has a turquoise and somebody has a silver pocket right. knife. But you guys can worry about that later. I'm gonna roll praise on the flash. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm not even gonna worry about selling shit until after we're done with all this mystery. You suspect you could probably get about 16 gold for it. Or, sorry, 14 gold. Eh, I'll, I'll like it better for myself. I'm gonna pour the rest of my, the uh, alcohol I bought from the uh, ringmaster into it. Cool. Now it will taste slightly of silver. Silver's tasteless. Yep. So it'll taste slightly it of nothing. Like metal. It will have a... No, the whole point of uh, using silver is silver doesn't affect the flavor of I what know, you're eating. Slightly of nothing. It has no metallic. It doesn't give food the metallic hint that steel or iron does. However, the outside can tarnish, so you need to it. Yeah, that is true. But I mean, all you really need is a rag. It's full of Once I cut out this brush, should we call it another hair or are we going to do it? Uh, we should probably call it. call it, yeah. Yeah. Right, once they're, they're once they are bed. So we're sleeping long enough to regenerate all of our shit, right? Yeah. Hang on, I just need to calculate experience really quickly. Hey. Should I switch over to the splash screen? Yep, okay. and then we gotta do our level ups. All right, I have you can do your level ups over the next week. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I, I can do my level up myself, but I was saying that we have to do it. Yeah. Are we done? You do it. So yeah, I'm just doing experience. Okay. Oh, these arrows are going to come in so much use. It's literally a hollow arrow full of holy water. You could fill it with something else, I guess, if you were like crafty. Whiskey. Ooh, fill it full of alchemist fire. Whiskey. So everyone gains 1,500 experience. <laughs> fill it full of magic. So that's 1,500. <laughs> one one two six four. Just full 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 the hollow. Uh, so I don't know about Zalmaru's current level. Well, What's our our. So, um, Dayton, you haven't added the fifteen hundred just now to your sheet, right? Negative. Okay, I'll just add it really quickly. You're very close to level four. Hmm. The cap for level 5 is 15,000. Yeah. Yeah, it's in your character advancement uh, table. It shows you the totals that required. Everybody has the same character it. advancement table. Yep. Question. All right, that was fun. 1,500. I just said 15,000. 15, 15,000. You gotta listen. Right, right, 15,000. Man, don't be rude. I said it like five times over the course of the session. Don't be rude. <laughs> Don't be rude. My XP is now at 11,001. I'm so more than you. Here. I have more XP. Go fuck yourself. Do you know how much XP do you have? Uh, I have exactly 1,000. Sorry, 10,000. Uh, I have more. Sorry, 11,264. I have 11,294. Ah, oh, man. One up. I need to go do something minor to get more XP. Guys, I guess what we could say is that the Lord is the Lord. I need to roam around the city and have Hatchie roll percental dice over and over and over until something happens. <laughs> Not rolling a blank d20? A <laughs> blank d20. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> roll is a 1d0. Oh look, nothing happened. No, nothing so happened. This, was... this is the no. most peaceful city you've ever encountered. It, no, you need to get a 1d1, which is literally just a bouncy ball. <laughs> yeah. that time I backflipped over a mother? Bouncy ball with a 1 engraved on it. Can you get Sharpie on it? Over Sharpie? A Sharpie would work. Yeah, you just write a 1 on a ball, and then you bounce it. Or you can have a Mobius strip, which is kind of eh. I get yelled at for using a bouncy ball too much, so the DM threw it outside. But bouncy oh. balls are cool! It was an eyeball bouncy ball, but I accidentally pressed it off the map a cut one too many times. Oh, guys, uh, Jack Lover says that the bird character is cute. Bird is not cute, he's a piece of shit. He's, he's a crow! crow. I, I think this means we have to go to the good no. place. 
I gotta tell you right now, the bird is a little piece of shit and everyone hates him, including his creator. Yeah, pretty much. I don't hate him, but I also don't care about him. Yeah, it's because you're yeah. fucking common writer. This is true. Next and I have no writing my shoulders. Next time, Zalma, next time Dylan is gonna stop questioning about me. Bill, stop it. Bill, stop. Okay. Bill. She's the only person Listen, who noticed it's... that she, he ever went brain dead. Everyone else is like, it looks like he, he always looks normal. does. He <laughs> it looks like he normally does. He makes me try to tell Matthias, and he went, I don't know what you're talking about. No, he was like, he's always zoned out like this. And everyone's just like, okay, something is wrong here. No one else is noticing. Am I kind of... What's going on? Oh, uh, we, we treat uh, characters who can't play that session as brain dead. They won't be targeted as uh, by attacks or anything unless the entire party is dead. And Dylan's been doing and they don't do anything. Time that has been going brain dead and, she's noticed effort to... and everyone else is like <laughs> looking at him and be like, he looks normal. I don't know what's wrong with you. Hey, he's also, around. apparently, I have a fanboy. <laughs> the fucking bird. So, you know, you're not Zinchin fan club 2014. No, Nobody God, likes no, half stop half. it. We already have enough jokes about Zinche rubbing holes with things. Oh yeah, we've never it's said that cloaca. on... It's a cloaca. You have a cloaca. Yeah, we've never said that on stream, but uh, yeah, we're... No, we, the end no, of this campaign stream over. is where... And I have muted them. I have muted them. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say now, this is the point where we're going to sign off. These guys have lost their brains. So, um, thank you guys all for watching. See you next... Actually, maybe see you tomorrow if I decide to stream this. But, um, yeah, um, night, guys. Bye.